Hello Internet and welcome to episode 29 of Malta Magic. We are very, very, very glad to be back and super excited for tonight. Um, for anybody that's not been paying attention to social media, it is three years of Malta Magic, which is insane. Um, we have been doing this now live on air for three years, which is awesome. We will talk more about that in just a second and we've got lots of special surprises um, first of which is of course our guest stars who we will introduce you to very shortly um, and a few little giveaways and goodies for tonight so be on the lookout but thank you all for being here with us um, let's run down our usual thank you shout outs and then let's get into some absolute chaos um, so as always some shout outs and thank yous to Incarnate, to Albert Rodeo, to Dungeon Alchemist, Hero Forge, D&D Beyond um, they'll all be coming up in the bottom uh, corner now. Uh, five year magic shop, two minutes tools, the thieves guild, world anvil, and then you've got all of our audio tracks, which are courtesy of tabletop audio and battle bards. Um, I also want to say an absolutely huge, huge thank you to to Homie and the Dude, and also to the Eldritch Press, um, who are our two collaborators for this evening. So we have posted various stuff on social media over the last two weeks around what's been going on behind the scenes and, and what we're planning for tonight um, so an absolutely massive shout out to both of those I went very very quickly through my thank yous and shout outs there you can tell how excited I am um, I've already mentioned the social media channels there and you would have seen them come up, uh, come up on the bottom there but please do go and follow us I can't even get my words out tonight folks I'm that excited um, go follow us on all of those social media channels so Instagram X or Twitter or whatever the fuck they're calling it today um, Twitch YouTube and of course course TikTok as well um, and if you're not already with us on Discord then that is the place to be that is where all the homebrews get posted where we do how our fan art channels are um, spoiler talks our theory talks everything is happening in Discord so if you're not there please come and join us in the Discord server um, and yes check out the social media feeds and the final thing of course is if you're not watching us live then hopefully you are either watching this on YouTube or listening on our podcast platform this episode will be available if you are watching live later in the week on both YouTube and your podcast platform of choice our only ask if you are listening on podcast is to just leave a quick rating or review um, just to spread the word and help get it out there the numbers on the podcast are continuing to grow it's amazing to see so thank you for all the support there that's the quickest intro I think I've done in about pff, fucking six months. So, um, yeah, let's let's not be around the bush anymore. Let's get excited. Um, my usual warnings definitely apply tonight. There will be adult language. There will be adult humor. You have been warned. Let's fucking roll. Yeah. Wow! How we go? Is anyone else freaking rock hard after that intro? Jesus Christ! That was insane. That was insane. Oh, Editing on that. Oh, oh. on stream. I'm glad it's not just getting hard now. It's yeah. fine. It's yeah. fine. It's yeah. what yeah. the table's there, there for, you know. So we can't see it. It's all right. If you see my mic just spin across screen, it's because mine's got too big. But yeah, yeah. that's it not happened in not what that. eight years. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So uh, let's run down down the lineup and let's do that. Uh, we won't, I think, for uh, for Tom and Bodie. Don't introduce your characters just yet. 
um, but obviously just introduce yourselves. Um, and then we'll go from there. So I am Matt, uh, as always, I am your Dungeon Master for this evening, also playing the existential crisis that is Cog, the little Modron companion, uh, and the psychic character of Callum Verfleur currently. Dave. Hi, that's my name. Uh, hello, I'm Dave, and I am playing Jewel of Shadows, the female tabaxi rogue, and attempting to be the wizard in the background. I'm Danny, and I'm playing Lex Ordo, your lovable prick. <laughs> and I'm Tom. And Danny got super <laughs> excited there. <laughs> dude, dude, that, that transition was hot, dude. That was real nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tom, I am the father part of Homie and the Dude, and I'll introduce my character in a little bit. What's yeah. up, everyone? I am Bodhi, the son half of Homie and the Dude. It is a pleasure to be here with all of you guys tonight. Thank you for having us chat. Thank you for having us. No. You guys, appreciate you. No, thank you very much, guys. Uh, yeah, this has been a long time in the making, so we, we are super happy you guys are here. Awesome. Um, given you are guest starring on, on Mock Magic for the first time, and not everybody's <laughs> going to be as familiar with Homie and the Dude as, as the rest of us, do you want to give a quick rundown of what Homie and the Dude's all about uh, and sort of send people to all of your good stuff as well? Hell yeah. Tom, do you want me to take it? Go for it, dude. Hell yeah, okay. So, we are Homie and the Dude, the father and son TTRPG and MMA team. Uh, we are out here just trying to create a, an incredible TTRPG space and community where you guys get to come and enjoy awesome actual play content as well as also uh, amazing supplements and things like our Sky Zephyr's Kickstarter, which is currently in, uh, in action, in play, live, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we, we're just here to have a great time and, you know, we, we just appreciate the space. So, you know, anyone who's contributing to the TTRPG space, we, we appreciate you and that's who we are and that's what we do. And thank you for, no, for allowing us to continue amazing. doing that. Absolutely. And speaking of the Kickstarter, we didn't te speak about that in the intro because I knew I was going to get the guys to talk about Home and the Dude. But of course, if you're not already supporting that Kickstarter, then please go and do so by going to moltenmagic.co.uk forward slash H-A-T-D-K-S. That will get dropped into the chat, but please go and show them some love, give them support. Um, I think it got funded in like four hours, right? So everything to stretch goals now, but it's amazing. Um, yeah. Thank thanks, you, Matt. Man. Appreciate that. No, 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 no. Excellent. So, let's do a little bit of a recap because it's been been a been a while. Um, so, last we left off in episode twenty-eight, Jewel, Lex, and their little sort of companion that they'd picked up along the way, Callum, had made their way into the forests of Dryamere outside the the city or the town of Mortacey to go and figure out what had happened to some adventurers that had gone missing. Um, and one guy talking around these strange shadows, these strange occurrences that had been happening along the journey and really threatened them as they were travelling <laughs> from um, the city of Dulin all the way through to Morstacey. The guys followed the trail, I said so they guys and girl. Um, remembering my pronouns now, you can tell it's been a couple of weeks. You made your way through the forest and immediately you started to hit those weird occurrences, those whispers, those just strange magical phenomenon that were appearing and eventually you stumbled across a, a small grove or a small glade of sorts where there was, for, for one thing, a corpse with a big old sword driven through it um, and the, the most sort of striking thing was this portal built into the cliff wall that was just fritzing and sparking and malfunctioning all over the shop. Um, protecting this corpse or just guarding the area, you hadn't quite figured out which at the time, was this strange fey creature that had been corrupted and immediately attacked you. Um, and so we had our fight with the corrupted Green Knight of the Woods, um, which was awesome. Uh, Lex had a moment where Lex was definitely not happy and just fucked everything up. Um, finished off the, the Green Knight of the Woods, killed them, um, and that's when Callum gave you a little bit of a history of what the Green Knights were and how they protected Fey Lords. You understood then the corpse that was in the centre of this platform, this stone platform before the, the portal, had been murdered and was a, uh, was a dead Fey Lord now. 
you buried the Fey Lord after deciding whether to throw it through the portal or not. So that was probably a bad idea. <laughs> uh, and then it was about what do we do next? How do we fix this portal? And I'm having a slight brain fart, but at some point it was revealed that you needed to find three items. Three specific items. Which were, when I remind myself, the petals of a flower that blooms in the moon. Um, I need to find the exact... A drop of morning dew infused the real with names the essence there. of laughter. There we go. A spoon, a half a pigeon, tree. and a carrot. And a star touch <laughs> crystal. <laughs> and a star touch crystal. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> that's, just to, that's just to prove I do make notes. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Somebody's got to make notes, because... There we go. Cool. So, having dealt with that, having understood what the next steps were, you packed your shit up and headed back towards Moore's Tacy to try and figure out what the next step was. Where do we go from here? And so we're going to do a bit of a, a time jump here, just to keep things flowing nicely. We will say that your journey back towards Moore's Tacy was totally uneventful, and you have landed back in the town. Um, you have reported back into the elders, and they are concerned, to say the least. Um, there's still, I'm going to give you this one for free, there is still something slightly off around these five elder figures. Um, they still haven't revealed any information about Mayanora, who you are seeking, but they have said if they hear anything about any of these three items, they will let you know immediately. And so the two of you head off to the, the local tavern, which you've already spent a little bit of time in anyway. It is where you met the initial individual <laughs> who had been traveling and came across these phenomena. Um, and so you find yourself sat at a, a small little wooden table now. It looks like it's been made out of um, a barrel, this sort of style, almost like a whiskey barrel that's been, been cut and had some legs attached to it. Um, and you sit and sip either well, I'll let you choose your beverages of, of choice. Um, Lex and Jewel, is there anything you would like to discuss with each other? Callum is also there, as always. So. Um, it's a, you think it's a little bit odd that they haven't revealed any information yet? I mean, we've kept our end of the bargain. What more do we need to do for these people? I don't trust them. <clears throat> Perhaps uh, when we have shown them uh, the fact that we have been of help to them, they will open up a little more. Um, it can be that they are just being quite guarded with some information. They, they, it could quite possibly be that uh, they are somehow think they are implicated. And that may be a, a concern to them. <clears throat> hmm. I still think we need to be uh, focused on this this portal. As a, I know you've got your shit to do, but we've got to be focused on this portal for now. Like, I can't let that potential rift to the Feywild be corrupted. And it's not within my nature. It's not within my being. Oh, I, I could not well, agree more. Um, we we are trying to, um, to to get rid of these issues along the way, and we are not going to leave it. Uh, <laughs> it is our full focus. Honest. Yeah. To, to be honest, I suppose the, the deal isn't complete until we probably close the portal in their eyes. Then they'll probably spill, spill the information we want. <clears throat> I'm a little bit hoarse. I'm just going to have a sip of my leaf tea. Excuse me. <clears throat> Oh, Jewel, <laughs> for sure, is having a uh, an elven wine or something. Oh, yeah, so in a nice little sort of, uh, I'm going to call it a pewter goblet. And this uh, very rich and fragrant elven wine gets delivered to you. Um, it's at this moment you sort of look around the, the clientele in the bar, so to speak. Um, so I'm going to ask the two of you to make perception checks, please. And at Ooh. this point, Callum's just going to sit there and... So these, these three items, this star-touched crystal, 
these petals of something to do with the moon, and then this dew-touched stuff. Where the fuck are we going to find them? Um, <clears throat> Tom Bodie, please 11. make me a perception check at the same time as well. Twenty-five. Oh, damn. oh man, that is fucking sick. Uh, that's an eleven for for Edgius. I, 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 can, can I ask? Does this place have a? Uh, does this place have a, a food menu? Uh, it will have a food menu. Yes. So on there, there will be elven delicacies. But you, as you read down it, the majority of it is fish-based. It being sort of a coastal, mm. coastal town, so to speak, or at least on the edge of uh, an island within this. I don't want to call it a delta, but inlets we'll call it. Um, so there's a lot of fish on the menu. Uh, I think Edius with with an eleven is just deep in this menu right now. He's he's trying to he's trying to find what what he's been looking for. Uh, we've been traveling. We've been just trying to get here for a while, so he he's busy in his in his little in his little menu at the moment. Good yeah, Ka Ka Kevin Buckland uh, on the third anniversary of Molten Magic uh, kicked off the episode with a nat twenty and. Um, Good time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got twenty four. Where's the button? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. nice, nice one. Um, so it's twenty-four, and uh, twenty-four. Yeah, and I, so you know, I this then. Yeah, go for it. No, I, I feel like I heard something about um, portals and Feywild and three missing something or other. And one of them came really, really resonated with me. Someone said something about a star-touched crystal, which is what I'm understanding is missing as well and could actually help me. And I just think I heard, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure I heard portal in something around a star crust crystal. And I, I just say to Edge, hey, Edge, did, did you, Edge, pull your fucking, just talk huh? to me oh, a minute. What, what, what? No, 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 let, let's just listen to me. I think I heard, you see Did you see that they have salmon? No, I, I did and not trout. see the fish. Edge. And edge. pike. I'm Do not look, hungry look right now. Look at all these different types of fish. They have sushi. I told you. I said, more tasty means more tasty. I told you. I, I freaking told you, man. We've hit the <laughs> jackpot here. Look at this. Look at this menu. This is crazy. Give me a sushi. But just can, just wait. Listen to me. Listen to me. I heard someone, those three, those two and a half over there, they said something about a portal and they said something about the buddy kill. They, they said something about the crystal. I think they said something about the crystal. Like, like they're looking for it or they haven't found it, but there, something's going on over there. Okay. Should I, well. And it's at you, this you, moment, Kevin and Jewel, where your eye, as you're looking around, your eyes just meet for that moment <laughs> and you realize jewel you've been overheard and you also realize that these two strange individuals <clears throat> are talking about you so for the sake of jewel lex and everybody uh listening i'm gonna say Kevin, can you describe your character uh, and what they look like i know we've got the artwork on screen but let's add some add some flavor to it sure so my character is um more or less was raised on the streets, um, was abandoned at the door of a boy's home when uh, he was just uh, a few years old and has gone through the, the horrors of living in a home that had priests that did all sorts of uh, horrible things. And he resisted as much as he could, but he was um, in his resistance, really, really looked at as a bad apple and um, was, was angry and fighting and um, eventually was tossed out at the age of 13 onto the streets. And I have been really kind of wandering the lands for the last couple decades and um, still looking for some sort of way to find meaning in my life. I have been uh, mostly angry and full of rage and, uh, I'm trying to figure out another way to, to proceed. Um, my character's sort of physical attire is, um, because I've kind of grown up on the streets, I not really well kept, but I have, you know, stuff that I need, my survivalist stuff. So I have some tools and I have some rugged overalls, um, pretty tatted up, um, got some 
different leather bands around my wrists and I wear a bandana oftentimes and not very shaven and uh, just a just a guy that uh, you'd look at and say he's uh, he's been around a little bit cool and edius then what do the the characters see <laughs> so what you guys see as you look across the room is you see a gentleman holding up a menu pointing at a, a sushi option and uh, this gentleman is dressed in a like leather jacket that has been zipped up at the front you can see that on the leather jacket there's uh, there's two primary patches one on either side you've got one that says the boneheads and you got one on the other side that says the bones brigade and uh the boneheads one though has like a big like black cross through it basically um you can see from the from the like head down he's got a, a like a trilby on that's pinstriped basically um you can see he's wearing some sort of like glasses that are tinted and like reflective almost with then a, a couple of like wraps of a scarf covering the lower half of his face making his facial features pretty hard to make out um lower half leather trousers that have lots of chains and buckles and shit like hanging off of them and going to absolutely nowhere and serving absolutely zero purpose um, <laughs> he has a uh, a big belt buckle that you can see that is uh that is a skull um and uh, he's just got a couple of uh, he's got a liar and a loot basically that he's taken off one that he wears around the front and one on the back that he's taken off and put like next to him on the uh, on the ground but uh yeah that's what you guys can see very good so jewel in this moment where you realize you are being spoken about and you've been overheard what would you like to do uh okay so jewel will just um stand up from the table that we're at uh wander over hello might i be of assistance uh, i think i have caught your eye uh, yeah, what sushi just... do you recommend? What the he fish. said, yeah. <clears throat> Any of it. Yeah. Okay. That's racial profiling. It... Just because she's a cat doesn't mean she knows a lot about fish, okay? Uh, <laughs> that was not... I simply assumed, as you are dining here as well, that you might also be eating. Yes, but that no. was clearly a bad assumption. To, uh, uh, to be fair, it, it, is. Is, it, it is all fresh, so uh, whatever is uh, your palate, would, I am sure. I'm sorry. Was it something uh, we were saying that uh, you you found interesting? I mean, we were just. I, I don't know. I heard something. Uh, my, I think I got it wrong. I probably got it wrong. So apologies. But something about the portal and uh, crystals and the fae and anyway. Um, so Edius, um, uh, apologies again for interrupting, and uh, we'll just get back to our. our what meal. was it about a uh, a portal that? you you know of no yeah, no no you yeah, definitely uh, heard that correct yeah so we we uh may be interested in I, I may be interested in something i don't know if it's a portal or not look uh we're just on a journey but a portal sounds pretty interesting and uh At this it point, might be something that we're interested in at this point, Edges is going to turn and look at them and try and like uh, put on a bit more of a, an older hat for himself, metaphorically, and uh, just try and deduce a little bit about these these people that we're we're, we're currently talking to, and in, in trying to get a read of how much we should tell them about what we're chasing to do, and uh, in, in that situation. I feel a, a very Can sharp me? elbow hit me right in the ribs a little bit. <laughs> yeah, very sharp. Uh, maybe an inside so it, it check, please. It is pointy. It is pointy for sure. That is uh, that is for sure. Insight. Uh, that's a fourteen. Insight. Fourteen. So there's definitely a mystery about this small group. As a group themselves. It's bizarre. Most most of the time, even when even with you two traveling around, sort of thing, races tend tend to stick with races, especially in the Drymerian region where it's heavily elven inspired. Um, to see a Tabaxi, a Yuan-Ti, and what looks like a human with some weird sort of Fey inspiration to their um, to their look, it's bizarre to see this group of people together. The fact that they were deep in conversation and 
now you think back to it and are reminded by Cabin that there was this talk of a portal and a crystal. They are looking for something that is clear. They don't seem to be hostile in any way. If anything, mm. you get a familiar feeling. They are searching for answers. Mm. You know, I would be happy to discuss this uh, this this portal and and whatever else you may have mentioned a crystal I, I believe my friend <clears> heard or something like that. Um, I would love to discuss that. Our and he points to the crudely made wooden table that we're sat at that seems to be in the shitter end of this, like, tavern pub. <laughs> See, it doesn't have cushions on the stools. Um, bits are kind of broken off. There's maybe some, like, stains of some shit. And, uh, and he's going to point to your guys' booth, where you guys are, where the rest of the crew is sat, and be like, uh, we'd be happy to uh, join you, maybe with some, pointing back to the menu, some sushi, and, uh, and, and discuss... All the things that we heard and might know uh, with with you, that would be. I awesome. tell you what, you order the sushi, you come and join us. We shall get the drinks and we shall talk this through. You know what? I love that idea. Um, we will, we will, we will do that right away. Um, I'm going to turn to uh, I'm going to turn to uh, to Kevin and go. Um, after the last place, I'm running a little bit short. You got this one. Uh, I think they said they're, they've got the drink. We come over there and, I mean, we can settle up now if we want. Should we just all settle up when we, you know, we all order up and uh, we can div divide it and, uh, oh, and yeah, no, look, was, look. We get yeah, yeah. the sushi and they get the drinks. I, I think that was, that was the deal. So, oh, I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, so um, that, well, that, dude, it's it's all it's all good. So it's it's all my friend. He's he's got it. Don't worry. He will uh, we'll get enough sushi for for everyone. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get um, literally one order of sushi because um, I don't have any more. <laughs> and it do, it does have it does have four and a half pieces to it, which is just one yeah. for each of us. So <clears throat> I, you know what. I could probably, and uh, Edius is going to like shake his trousers <clears throat> and literally everything jingles um, <laughs> as, he, as he looks down and uh, he's going to reach into his pocket and uh, pull out uh, uh, a gold piece and, uh, and a couple of silver pieces and slide them over to Kevin as well and be like, last of my winnings from, the, from last place. Here, All right, we'll, get, we'll get two rolls of sushi and can you take them over there to, we're going to go sit over there. So just however you want can you chop them up so that we can all have a couple pieces he says that to the bar hand so the uh, the female bar hand just sort of looks at the the meager offering of, of of coin but there is a gold piece in there and very well though two rolls is chopped up straight away thank ah. you uh yeah so uh uh, and, and I we'll make get up and yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> so you see, Callum and Lex sort of <laughs> shuffle round and make room for for the two of you as you all sort of join together now in this small booth around. As I say, this this table that's clearly been made out of the uh, bottom end of a keg, um, but there are cushions around and it's it's a little bit more comfortable, a bit more plush here. Um, yeah. I kind of want to say Jewel steps onto a cushion, spins round four times, and then sits down. Pretty much, yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, won't do that yet. Don't know you guys yet. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> it's only for friends and family. We get yeah, it. We get yeah, it. yeah. That, that, that's the best when you're comfortable. shit in the sawdust in the corner. That's what <laughs> <laughs> uh, incredible. Um, so you mentioned now, now portal-wise... Yeah. portals i've n not seen many um don't know loads but um crystal you mentioned now that's something that uh that that we might be able to uh assist slash talk about now uh what crystal in particular is it what, what type of gem is it that you're talking about um, yeah and we might not well, be even talking about the same thing so uh exactly you know again again apologies if we're overstepping <clears throat> our bounds or, you know just no, just met i i will i will welcome all help this portal is corrupted and uh we need to try and close it but the only way to do that is to gather some special ingredients and one of those is a 
star-touched crystal. I'm not quite sure what the interpretation of star-touched means, whether that be a, a meteorite or... A, 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 are you gem aficionados? Are you diamond merchants? Is that how you know about this sort of thing? No, I... Should I take this edge? I, uh, I know about uh, it. I mean... Yeah, it's but, uh, all, all you. I'm going to sit back and just keep looking over to the bar and waiting for the sushi. <laughs> and, uh, by the way, I'll, I'll have a mead if, uh, if I don't know if, if they serve that here, but just a pint or a flagon or whatever. <clears> they bring over they, the sushi and then they the drink. Picture. You would like okay. your some mead, uh, a pitcher, oh, yeah, by all means, uh, anything, uh, any other special requests? Uh, some uh, more of the wine, please. Oh. Some more Elvin's wine. Uh, uh Edge, you, you, you get more. What would you get? Are you, you, uh, 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 I drank a lot the other night, and, you know, hence why, guys, I apologize. I'm all. Oh, I'm feeling uh, bruised. Then, bruised, bruised I'll go over. and. I get it. Yes, get it. exactly. So I'm, um, I'm gonna, I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna miss out on this one, guys. You, you, you drink away. Uh, but I will enjoy the sushi for sure. Yeah. There's some ice. And Callum's just gonna look up. As a side to the leaf tea, I will have your, uh, your finest ale, dwarven, if you've got it. But uh, if not, anything from the Juvund region would be fantastic. Um, Damn. The, the bar hand yeah. disappears off. Now that's so, a good one. Uh, that's a good order. I like that order. That was uh, clear, concise, well delivered. Mm -hmm. Fan of that. Well, well Max, <laughs> I think uh, introductions are probably in order. I am Callum Verfleur. Um, oh. Emissary, I guess, of sorts from the Feywild. But um, a pleasure to, to meet the two of you. <clears throat> from the Fey? Yeah. You, you came through? I spent a lot of time in the Feywild. I'm not from there. It's a, it's a long story, but let's just say I've spent the. It, it, it has been very useful for life. him to know uh, something about the Fey, as we will all come mm. to to discuss. I'm sure in a moment. Uh, I am Jewel. Okay. Uh, I am oh. not originally from this specific area, for, but from the region, uh, and um, my uh, friends yeah. and I are on a uh, a trail that is taking us in quite the direction however for now we are here for the uh for the portal and uh sorting this out yeah and uh hi i'm i'm lex i my prime directive is to investigate portals and uh make sure any disturbances are, are put to rest and as i'm talking you'll notice cog will peek out of my inside coat pocket just to see what's going on and then he'll flutter up onto my shoulder oh uh, uh, this is cog he's my companion um he doesn't talk much but he takes a lot of information in so he's a he's a, he's a useful guy and you'll see his yeah, eyes just awkward. scanning you as if he's giving you like yeah. a, a scam like a like an airport, you just hear like this one. strange cacophony of clicks words and mechanical sounds clockwork type sounds as the eye sort of glows brighter from within the shadow of the coat and you feel it scan over you and then just disappears back in Mm. Uh, yeah, hi, uh, Jewel and Lex and Cog and mm. and uh, is it Callum? Was it Callum? I didn't, I didn't catch that. Yeah, Callum, is that how you I do, it? yes, Callum. Yeah, yeah. Is that with a K I'm or not... a C? With a C, actually. C. Yeah, I, I think they're mostly always with a C. I don't, I've never seen one with a K. I don't think. I think it's. I always... met one with a Q once. Very strange. Anyway, neither here nor be... there. Qualum? I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, so I am not from around here, uh, per se. I'm not really from anywhere. Um, I guess you could say I'm from uh, near Union City. And uh, yeah, so the portal, I mean, this is Edge. Edge, go ahead and introduce yourself. We'll talk about this, this stuff. Uh, Edgeus is going to like take a moment take like stand up out, off his stool grab his uh his larger uh loot and strum and go i am edgiest bones and it is an absolute pleasure place it back down and then just sit back down casually as if nothing happened um and be like callum's gonna take bones. out silver and just flick it to you <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll catch the silver and uh and be like 
thank you. T tossing a coin is always appreciated. And, uh, and slide it into his, uh, his coat. As uh, he's gonna be like, uh, yeah, again, ma man of the lands. Uh, I'm from everywhere and nowhere all at the same time. Uh, you know, just, just making my way with my good buddy here, helping him achieve his stuff, because uh, God knows I've got time to achieve mine. So uh, yeah, we're just working through stuff together. It, it's a pleasure to meet you all. You all seem, and an, an investigator, My, I, I, I used to know an investigator, an old friend of mine. He, uh, he was uh, very, very good at what he did, but uh, got fucked over in the end. But that's how it usually goes. I, I like meeting uh, investigators. It's a pleasure, pleasure to, uh, or investigator, did you say? Well, I suppose we're kind of makeshift detectives. We are. We, we, are, on, we have been forced into it. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, uh, for, for, yeah. for different roads, yes. <laughs> Do, well, yeah, we, well, we do we do a spot of detecting here and there as well, you know, as as we go from town to town, little mysteries, nothing big, small crimes, who stole this, who did that, you know, little bits and bobs that we can help out with, but not too much. We try and keep it, you know. Under and the have you, uh, you do, uh, have you been to more Stacey before, or is this the first time for you? Uh, this is my first time. Have you been before, Kevin? Yeah, I used to come on trips with the with the boys. I mean, yes, I've been here before. I've been here. I, I don't remember much. It's changed quite a bit. But uh, look, I've kicked around a lot of places. So yes, I have been most places that you can name. I've probably have been at least around here. Uh, so so let me, let me just I mean, we don't have to talk about it now. We can just have, have a bit of a drink and chill out a bit. And, but the portal. Uh, I thought we would want to go through the portal, and I didn't think we'd want to, like, do you say we want to... I thought the way was through the portal to get stuff, to get the real important stuff, not to not to break the portal so that we couldn't get through it. If uh, we are all talking about the same portal, and I, I have to admit I do not know uh, to do so, <laughs> we are pretty sure you would uh, perish, you would die. Um, yeah, unfortunately this is a, it's not a stable portal. It's uh, it's been corrupted by some, some dark, dark magic, and uh, it's not safe to go through. So we're oh trying to close God. it to prevent it bleeding into this world. Ah, okay. Close that, it, that... cleanse it, whatever. Just. Make I mean, it yes, I, su I, su I suppose if we can cleanse it and it uh, can continue if the way it is it, meant to be, then, yes, then yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sure. Like a like a colonic or something, really, just kind of clean it all. It is. Uh, do you, do you experience this often? I just, I, I actually have. Yeah. And, is, uh, is is that also what happened to you? Or do you just, um, uh, you know, you ended up like this, or is it uh, something else? Is that uh, part of your detective work? If if so, I don't, I don't think I want want it. I'm separate uh, to him on this one. That's not me. I don't know what he's talking <laughs> about. Actually, I, though we're friends. I've not heard this one myself, so uh, we're all being privy to, 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 to something Look, here it was, today. You know, like when I, sometimes you use a metaphor just to describe something, just the, the cleansing is inside and, you know, kind of washing it all out and all of that. So any, anyway, uh, what I was going to say is, <laughs> yeah, no, I, I really meant it was a metaphor. I didn't. No, but no. I, 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 but I know, but I have had. Hey, one, hey, 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 Kevin, he, he was joking. That was, that, that was a joke. That was a joke. It's all good, buddy. I think he was being. I think he was trying to be rude to me. I don't know. Was he trying? No, to no, 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 no. He, no, he, he was, he was a, just joking. Um, I have been told I have a naturally sarcastic tone. Um, uh, no, no, no worries. Yeah. No, no worries. Uh, yeah. So, so here's the thing. I think we're talking about two different things, and we might only be interested in one of them, because. Uh, I thought they were sort of linked. I thought the portal and the uh, and the and the stone, the crystal, were needed to be kind of. You go through the portal to get the crystal because the crystal's rare, and you gotta find it, and it's hidden, and all this other stuff. But it sounds like the crystal isn't. They're they're separate. You know, you don't have to do one yeah, to do the other. We need the crystal to be able to then use the portal as intended. He, 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 he's, a, he's a sharp one. He's a sharp one. So. Yeah. We, we we are looking, Evidently. we are actually happen to be looking for a star star touched crystal. Excuse my 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 stuttering hungover. My tongue's tied, um, and uh, we we're looking for this because my friend here is is looking to acquire it for for a very personal reason to him. One we'll just, that involves we'll keep that. Uh, we'll just keep that. We'll just keep that. You know, is that yeah, something to do with the colonic as well, or? Uh... 
Um, <laughs> it's, it's a fucking metaphor. I mean, I have had one, but in this case, <laughs> it's a metaphor. I, I, I'm trying to express the description, but maybe, sort of, yes. You, you well, know, your um, look, look, I, I appreciate are, are there, a man who keeps right? himself clean. I is there going to be more of more of these uh, crystals, or, 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 or uh, enough for us to share? Um, if, if you know where the one is, that is more than we know at the moment. We are here looking for answers as well. We were the, the last person we talked to mentioned something in this area, and I heard the name of this place, and it sounded like more tasty food. Sounds great. So yeah. that's that's another it's some kind of another metaphor. We, we we often we really communicate in metaphors quite a bit. So more tasty, kind of sounds a little bit a little bit like you know the, that's not a metaphor. Cavendish Ka- 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 getting that one confused. That's that's actually not a metaphor. But you know what? You you keep trying, buddy. You're you're starting to get the hang of them. <laughs> I, like you you re- you really are starting to get the hang of those for reals. It's a uh, what this is moment, it? The bar hand uh, brings across more sushi. Yeah. Are you saying uh, more tasty? I assume you want uh, more food? By all means. Uh, uh, just the stuff you brought. That's fine. <laughs> oh, well, it is um, prepared now. Well, we can put it on the Elder's tab, surely. We are on a mission for that. On the, uh, the Elder's? Yeah. Could we get that maybe one more, logical. two more rolls of... Maybe two more rolls of that. Uh, that looks really it's nice. It's on the tab, I mean. And look, the elders are nice guys. We even spoke to them as well. They were like, yeah, man, just, just tab it up. Do the thing. So, oh, you yeah. did manage to speak to the elders. Inside check. He's, he's, he's going he's gonna to look at <laughs> Well, I'm going to say first say, thing. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so first thing here, I want a either... Um, Edius and Lex to make me individual persuasion checks, or one of you can make an assisted persuasion check at advantage to get the bar hand to fuck off, and then we're going to do the inside checks. <laughs> uh, do you, we're let's, let's go to, we're both charismatic. Let, let's, let's, go to, <laughs> let's go together so that we get, you know, it's, it's, it's a joint effort. It was a joint effort. Let's go together. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got a 15. Okay. Lex? Ah, uh, 13. Cock and balls. 13. <laughs> I will put it on the uh, Elder's tab. My guy. Anyone that's, in particular? Oh, um, God, I haven't got my notes open. <laughs> so I've, got, I've got all <laughs> the names. <laughs> The the, the, the the eldest the, one. His he he's yeah. Yeah, the, the shady gray. looking the shady looking yeah. dwarf one. Yeah. Oh, Except that one, yes. That's yeah, that's yeah. the one I was talking yeah. about too. Yeah. Yeah. The shady looking dwarf one. <laughs> you know what I, you know what I mean. You know who I mean. If not, uh, please put it on <laughs> Leo's tab and uh, we shall uh, sort it and out with and, and, and sh- of course. Sh- shots all around, the local whatever the local shooting liquid is for you know just to kind of except one for me just rest of them just not for me um yeah what is a shot it's a it's a way to commune it's a way to to use a beverage to kind of raise it and touch glasses and to say that we are uh we're we're taking the next step in understanding each other it's a it's a symbolic thing but you 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 know you drink it okay yeah 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 yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a Union City thing. I didn't it's know they didn't have it here. City. It's a, it's yeah, a Union yeah. City thing. He's from Union City. Yeah, okay. He, he brings that up a lot. You'll I will, find out uh, that a lot of him is based around the Union City thing, you know. I will bring across some of the uh, spirit from uh, Union City. I forget its name, but uh, we have some. I will We will use that. And yeah. it brings across five little, small little tumblers and fills them up. Uh, and then more sushi is brought. More drinks are brought, and then they leave <laughs> be for a little bit. So, what, what do you, so you guys are trying to close the portal. How did you guys end up here and, and you know, got tasked with close the, the, the portal to the other other place of dark stuff? Which sounds metal Which is as more fun, like, by the way. It's more, like instead, it's more like a constipation type thing, not really a... a, a oh, okay. Here, here we are again. Here we are again. Like yeah. a, okay. you, everything uh, is stocked yeah, up Kevin. a little. Kevin, you, it, your it sushi's is a getting cold. Ring that we need to heal. You're all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. One hundred percent. I'm starting to understand He's... this metaphor thing. I think I'm on board yeah. with it. I yeah. like him. I, th- I, I really, really 
feel like they, they enrich the communication. I try to use them anytime I can. To try and answer your uh, c question, <laughs> moving the uh, conversation along quite swiftly, the, um, the reason why we are to, here... This was rather entertaining. I'm sure it will uh, come back around if I uh, understand correctly. We are we are here to look for someone, and we are also here um, because our journey has been following the abnormal. Um, mm. So this has been quite in in line with what we are looking for. Um, we do not know whether it is connected or not, but. We cannot sit by and let something like this continue on. Yeah. We do believe it is connected. We have been As a, following a string of weird disturbances and disappearances and strange phenomena happening in, in town to town. Have you mm. noticed similar things on, on your travels? Lex does like uh, portals. <laughs> yeah. What? That's, portal that's awesome. We, we've all got our thing. I love music. Uh, Kevin loves metaphors. this thing, and metaphors, metaphors. that's the one, metaphors, yeah, yeah. that's the one, and well, uh, it changes The metaphor every doesn't week. have to I, always I, I be know. about a butthole, it can be about anything, it's just to signify that you are oh. wanting to describe one thing and using that to describe another thing. It doesn't always have to, it often is about buttholes with me, but it, it doesn't always okay, have okay. to be. Yeah, yeah, it's, right. it, yeah. Uh, so, my point being is, uh, yes, uh, across it seems a little bit more recently we've been no noticing some uh, paranormal uh, phenomena in places. It, it seems most places we go have some sort of hujama wajit scaring the locals, or, or you know, you know, polster geezy or something, you know, bothering the farmer and his crops. Even you know, we, we've we've just been accepting small things. We're not. Uh, you sound like big hitters. Uh, you know, we're we're. We're simply, you know, making our way, trying to make some coin by playing some tunes as our band, the Bones, the Bone Brigade. That's that's us. Um, you might have heard of us. A lot of people have. Um, and, we're we're uh, two man band. Two two man and uh, yeah. and uh, and yeah. So the answer is yes. We've seen a lot of weird shit recently. Um, but if y'all are you, so you guys need to close this portal and you mentioned something about the crystal helping you are you looking for for the star touch crystal exactly yes yeah. yes we are yeah um nice. and just we don't necessarily that, that want rocks. to close it either we, we just want to make it heal it so it can be used for its proper oh. function almost like uh like a suppository that like like kind of like evaporates and then and then it but it does heal yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Like if you had, yeah. if it, the portal had a hemorrhoid or something like that, and you put some, some, some cream around it to, to just heal it. I didn't know it. you knew biology this well. It, it's, I mean, it's I mean to be of, fair, the the number kind of, of things we have been through, the number of plans that we have uh, all fallen apart. This is definitely, um, you know, Project X, or you may want to call it Preparation X, perhaps, <laughs> uh, along along those lines. <laughs> Well, so you guys are going on this journey, Preparation X, we'll call it, um, and, and uh, you know, I would love to, to know, could you guys possibly, you know, like, you know, we're looking for the, the crystal, you guys are looking for the crystal, and, you know, we, we, we're really good at getting places to stay because we sing and, 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 and stuff like that, and I'd be, you know, I, I mean, if it's okay with you, Kevin, we, we could maybe, you know, come along with you guys. You guys seem like nice people. It seems like, It you know, would you're, be you're... very, it would be great for us to all, uh, you know, get the, this crystal that we all need. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it is great, yes. Perchance, um, I, I, I'm, I, I'm sorry to return to it, but you spoke to the elders. Um, was it in anything in particular? I'm going to lean in and, and hold up a hand. Go, oh, we haven't spoken to any elders yet. That was a that was a ploy I was using so that we could more enjoy more, more, I knew it. more, more, more drinks. I knew it. Yeah, the, see, like, the tab like, was a ploy as well. I, yeah, they did it, not it, tell us we could use the tab. Jules, I can't believe you didn't read that. We were doing like eye signals and all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, there's a connection there, I think. Uh, can, can I turn to <laughs> I, I, I turn to Hedges <laughs> and I say, uh, "Look, can we can we can we cut the shit?" And yeah, can yeah, we just tell him? You you hey you 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 do you do. Is, you is this I'm, a metaphorical I'm, shit or a literal shit? I mean, this is. <laughs> 
I take it as you want. Uh, I might use a metaphor, I might not, but <laughs> look, we maybe have seen some abnormal things. Who knows? I don't know if we have or not, but this isn't really what we're about. We, uh, we're about something else. Uh, and again, this might not be, this might not be a thing for us to wander around with you about, but I'm really searching, um, I, this is stupid. This is stupid. Uh, no, no, it's, it's just fine. Um, can I insight check your your current change in tact? You can. Uh, where is my insight? Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen. Um, so. Do 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 do. Calvin definitely looks like he's then suddenly sort of changed. He's being less. Um, yeah, I'd, yeah. I was trying to see if I need to get Calvin to make a roll there, but I don't think I do. I think it's a case of yes, you see this definite shift in. There was a lot of hyperbole, a lot of round or speaking around a topic, and now it feels like with just this shift in demeanor, shift in posture, and uh, and almost the aura around Calvin. This seems like the truth is about to come out. Yeah, I, I, like I said, uh, look, man, I am. Have you heard of Paragon, the Exemplar? Probably not. You probably haven't heard of him. I just, it's. Uh, I had it. Yeah. Uh, so this is me out of game, and I think did we? The answer is yes. Yeah, Paragon, because I remember that I was thinking, it's not the Paragon's call, that's from a different campaign. Uh, so, <laughs> yes. Look, it was, uh, don't worry about it, it's um, it's a whole thing that I'm, look, uh, I'm not sure we're aligned. Um, we might be. Are you on the run? Yes, but to we... something. Go <laughs> He, he, he means we're searching for something, less running from, more running towards is, I think, where he yeah, was that's what going meant. with that. Yeah, the 100%. That's what we were oh. talking about. <laughs> yeah. Lex may be a deception. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, fucking We've hell, all been there. Like... An eight. Yeah. You can see with... Lex is not the most, um, I'm going to say not the most charismatic, sort of, it's very I'm blunt, very dry in the way he speaks. Um, so when he comes out with this, uh, yeah, that, that's what we meant. It's <laughs> clear bullshit. You see straight through it. Uh, y yeah, C clearly. Um, th that's, uh, that, that, that sounds uh, exactly. Uh, no, we, we are... Uh, my friend is uh, looking for this crystal to uh, talk to a uh, god. Don't don't um, don't fucking don't fucking do I, it. I, 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 I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't. My, and, and he's gonna put his hands under the table and then like give like a little head nod this time as he says God. And then uh, and then he air quotes like, everything. Every time he wants to be sarcastic, he uses he goes like that, and that that symbolizes to me that he's not he's not being serious and. I feel like it's personal, and we're working through it. We're trying to get we're trying to get our communication right. But every time he does it, it really fucking annoys me. And so, uh, anyway, yes, so you, it you, is. You, you you do you you believe that this uh, crystal will be able to allow you to communicate? Lex, uh, I'm sorry. Is it Jewel? Uh, Jewel. Jewel. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, I hope we so. were told we were just told by this this so my friend here was in search of some something and uh and, and you know some meaning he went to a, a lady in a tent you know headdress long nails you know yeah. the type i'm talking about crystal ball and uh she she told him that that if if he found you know this 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 crystal then we would possibly be able to uh, assist him in, in, in finding some things. Now, look, I'm 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 all for us doing whatever we need to do with this crystal. She gave us a, a little ritual, 
and uh, he's going to point to Cavan's breast pocket where you can see like a little bulge in his breast pocket that is oddly scroll shaped. Um, and he's going to be like, so I'm just trying to help my friend find some peace and that involves us finding this crystal, apparently. Yeah, so I'm, here's what I'll just say, guys, uh, just to cut to the chase here. If you feel like we're aligned, then uh, we might be up for following with you. But if you don't, let's just fuck off. Let's just fuck off and we'll just do our own thing. We'll just fucking go on our own way. Uh, I, it's, I mean, we'll have our sushi, we'll drink our, and we'll just have a laugh and shit like that. But yeah, like if you feel like we're do fucking aligned, then I'm here to listen. I think if I was to like, channel you first, please. If I was trying to channel you for a second there, Kevin, I feel like we're both two cheeks on the same ass in our, uh, our alignment. <laughs> I, I turn to Edge and I say, I like him. I, I, he gets me. I say that as, under my breath, though. As, as he says, on history. 13. As, as he says he likes him, I, I want to look at Ledge and like, in my head, I'm like, yeah, I agree. That guy's, that guy's sick. And then I want to look over at Jules, and I just feel a little bit off about Jules. There feels like there's Ju some Ju sort Jewel of- Jules is also, there. yeah, but also Jules is, is very much side-eyeing it with Callum about the chaos that is going on in front. <laughs> <laughs> Callum's been sat there with this, with this ale for a while now, sort of making the odd comment, but generally just sat there taking it all in and, and looks towards Jewel and just sort of shrugs as if to say, well, what the fuck? Um, but yes, yeah, so with your history checks, Lex, not a fucking clue, Jewel. Yes. Something about that name. Something about that name Paragon. You get sort of flashes of memory of, of metal, but grassland. Something rings a bell recently. Yeah. Oh. You said that you are traveling towards something to find this crystal, and you have been sent here to look around? Or is it that no. you want to keep going? Uh, well, well we, we're just... we, we were just... We were told to come look in the area. Someone said that they'd heard. So apparently, it's in a grove or, or some. Look, or we some don't really shit. fucking know. I yeah, mean, Lex, we don't know what we're fucking Lex, we're totally do you, winging it. Lex, do you remember our uh, our journey to um, the Crystalline Isle? Yeah. And do you also remember us walking through that? Um, that field, we dug something up. Yeah. I'm not putting two to do. Is, was there alcohol in that shot? Because I feel weird. <laughs> there definitely was, Lex. Th there was 100% <clears throat> alcohol, yep. Uh huh. Uh, yep. You shit. also said about uh, the grove. Is that also where you were you, you are told to, uh, to look? Uh, so. We were told that it's a star touch crystal in a hidden grove. Now, to me, I know someone called Grove, so I don't really know <laughs> what to, to deduce from that whole uh, statement. And that I, we I, were I, I know you, you have not uh, ripped them apart. You find out if they have a crystal inside them. Oh, they, they died years ago, years ago at this point. Wow. But, uh, okay. but, but Actually, you know. Callum, yeah. you mentioned Groves of the Fade. Do you, is that does that ring any bells for you? I mean, there's multiple groves of sorts, but if it's going to have to be something on this plane, that, unless you know of some other way of getting into the Feywild, surely. Um, okay, say um, it's close. This grove. I mean, we, we, we were told look in this area, but they said, you know, th th this person, oh, the, the, you know, we, we don't talked know, to someone man. else. It, it was like a daisy we're chain of people. Clueless. It felt like Chinese whispers. We've been lost for fucking days. We're fucking, Did we, we just stumbled around. Okay, Lex, Lex, I, 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 I possibly have a... a bit like drow whispers, yes. Yes, so, Lex, when we were on our way, uh, we went through that uh, ancient battlefield and we, we dug wow. up uh, that uh, metallic... 
Was it armor or was it something else? I cannot remember. Ah, uh, yeah. Perhaps there is something inside that. Um, it may even be powered by a crystal. Or maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's entirely the wrong place. But it was something. Well, if you guys need to find it, let's say, just hypothetically, where would you guys look first? Based off of, you know, what you got, like, what we know is that it's in a hidden grove, and then that grove is somewhere. Now, anywhere, do fucking you, anywhere. Anywhere. That is pretty when much we, where we would look, uh, to be honest. Um, no when idea. You had the phantom memory of the battlefield. Yes. Was that in a grove, or was it just an open field? I mean, it was in a field. It was, it was an open battlefield. I'll give you that one. Yeah. Okay. Now, well, if if they have intel that is around this area, that is not it's not close, is it? To here. That is true. It is not uh, overly close, but it is uh, certainly within the area. I know we travelled by a. Um, you could ask the elders about groves, hidden groves. They they might know. If anybody's going to know, they might know. That's, that is that's, simply that's, where we are going to have to. I do not think that we walked through anything uh, like that, but perhaps it will be in the forest nearby. That is the yeah. best we're going to have to do. Look, uh, no. I think here's what I would say, Edge. Uh, we have no fucking idea. We don't even have the slightest clue. We just know we are sort of looking, but also busking and just sleeping rough. And you guys seem we like you have sleep very. That rough. Don't listen to him. We we uh, we sleep good. What do you? We have what, fucking tents, dude. To us, man? What do you... We have fucking tents, what, you have dude. And I'm proud tents? of it. Why do you have to bring up the tents again? God. They're nice it. tents. The nice uh, tents. Can Jewel look around and see, because we're in possibly the same tavern, as the tradesman, uh, not tradesman, the, mm -hmm. that we that we talked to before. Is he about? Yeah. Drinking uh, his words. Maybe a perception check, please. Okay. Um, can I ask, does this friction interfere with your music, or is it more inspiration for your music? Well... We play like, you know, uh, we, we play ballads that are of like uh, a metallic kind of sort. You know, they are, they're, they're hard hitting and make you powerful. stomp on something's face. Yeah, ex powerful oh. is exactly what I'd describe yeah. it as. And uh, uh, any kind of hate or anger or love or passion or crying or, you know, happiness or giggling that you want to put into the song seems to really elevate it. So if we're having a bad day, uh, you'd, you'd be surprised. Some of those gigs end up uh, quite interesting. We had uh, we had one uh, the other day in uh, in Atherath. Uh, wait, I don't think I... Do you know? Do you remember how to... What was that island we just came from? I, I can't pronounce it. Uh, Callum, uh, do, you, do you remember what they were calling it over there? I, I, I don't know, man. It was like was so... a hearth or a, a henorth, a, a henorth or something. So, so anyway, we, we came from this place and, uh, and you know, we, we had one gig down there. Ooh, we were angry at each other, but damn, we blew the roof off of that little back room in that, uh, in that tavern that we played in. Look, we get different things Athenath? from our music. Yeah, yeah, that's it, Athenath, that's it, yeah. Yeah, that's 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 uh, what so I said. So you've traveled around the Dry Mirian region, then. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you know, elves pay. Uh, they pay. You know. <clears throat> yeah. No, uh, 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 Twenty-five. Twenty-five check, on the perception 25. check. Twenty-five. Damn. So as you look around, you don't see Galen anywhere. Right. There's no no sight of them but in this moment you sort of Callum also turns around and looks where you go and Callum's had a lot to drink at this point and just sort of <laughs> nudges you and you fall sort of into the table um, and there's this moment where as you nudge the table the four of you all brush against each other in a moment and each one of you has this sharp intake of breath just <gasps> as you you're gone from the tavern like your vision is just gone from the tavern. And you find yourself in this weird trance-like state momentarily. But that moment seems like it stretches on forever. You stand on this precipice of this tranquil glade. Bathed in the gentle silver light 
of the moon. The air is filled with this serene stillness and a, a soft haunting melody that seems to weave throughout the surroundings. Before you stand what looks like an ancient stone ruin of sorts. And beyond that, a large tree where the branches sort of extend out like the arms of a guardian of sorts. At the base of the tree, in the base of this, these stone ruins, you see a small patch where the moonlight hits and it glows orange. And you see four white flowers. As you take in this scene, your your vision just shifts, and you see a root almost. You sort of are drawn back from the world where you can see mountains. You see the coastline, and you can see a point east. East? I always fuck this up, don't I? Uh, yes. Um, Left or right? <laughs> north northeast of Morse Tacy, deep within the forest, and it's almost like this beam of moonlight just shines down there. And in that moment, <gasps> all four of you are brought back to the table. Um, and Callum just turns around and goes, Oh shit, sorry, I didn't mean to make everybody spill their drinks. Let me get another round, shall I? Uh, what was that? Wait, you. You did that, Edges is going to grab his guitar, uh, like almost prepping, ready to, to strum it aggressively, and uh, and be like, Sorry, wait, you did what? that to us. Oh, is, what was, did, what was that? Is, 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 Callum slurring his words. Just like, is, what is this what I, happens I, when you I take did. a shot? I've, uh, I've never done this before. No, 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 no. no. That is going on. Was that you, Jules? Was that you? I, hey, you've been acting shifty over there. Was that you, Jules? No, it was not. I do believe from... I do not know who did that. Sh Callum, was that something you can do? You show visions? Visions? I've seen double, if that's what you mean. Uh, no. I've just been on a spirit quest. Can, can Lex, I make a uh, kind of check on Callum to see if he's some sort of prophesizing, uh, you know, like oracle prophet hidden within a meager posh person? <laughs> <laughs> you can. Uh, Cavern, make me a religion Jesus. check as well, please. Um, that would be a... Uh, sorry, was mine an insight? Did you say? Yours was an arcana. arcana. Oh, my, my apologies, I even asked for that. I'm so stupid. Uh, that yeah, is no, a no, 19 no, no. for me. My apologies. 19. So there is yeah. a lot of magic surrounding Callum. Yeah. And you can feel that. With a 19, you can feel that it is very Fey-esque. As for being some sort of prophet or vision-inducing being, no, he is just some drunk-ass, fey-touched creature right now. Okay. Roll the 17. A 17. As you look down into your mead, it's almost like the bubbles momentarily spell out two words that just say, you're welcome. And then, as you... Sort of swill it around, those words disappear. Uh, abnormal. Did, you did said anyone abnormal. see a tree? Did anyone else see a tree in a in a thing with some flowers and some pretty light? Mm. Tree. Yeah, yeah. Was that Speaking of trees, excuse me, I'll be back in just a moment. Callum leaves. Um <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The, the, those what? look like one of the other ingredients we need to uh heal the heal the portal. Moon moon. Moon blooming flowers or whatever. The, oh. the last yes, the last time we uh, we went out, the portal was to our uh, more to the west. I think from that vision, mm. we need to go northeast. Ah, oh. okay. Callan asked the question wow. just to just to kind of truth check them. W what what color was the flowers? What what was the color the color of the flowers? Our orange, I think, like a glowy orange. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what about Checks you? Out. Checks out. They, they were orange, and there was a um, there was moonlight or something. Holy shit! Okay. I think this is this is this is. Uh, I've never had that. 
I never. I don't know what that was. I don't Weirdly, know what that was. I mean, Lex and I have unfortunately over the last coming weeks, yeah. we have had shared visions, and it is becoming shared a, dreams quite I, often. I, I hate to say it, but it is becoming almost normal. That is a uh, weird thing yeah. to say. That uh, it's it's definitely not a normal thing to say for 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 sure. So these shared dreams, um, do you like hang out in them, or like is it more like? abrasive more, yes more like a prophecy uh, being shown we have no control they are not yeah, lucid they're not necessarily the same dream but we have vivid vision induced dreams usually at the same time based on different uh, experiences so, and yours are driven by something else mine are driven by something else so but like, they're like a sign it's like a proximity yeah, yeah. thing to you guys it's like a proximity like thing, like the sign. closer we get, the more we're involved in, in your guys' dreams. Is that how it works? I don't know if it's contagious. I, d I, we, it's I just do not a... know. It is It is simply that the phenomena is something we have been um, quite well touched, getting used to. Together. We just saw a tree together. Of course it's contagious. You just contaged us. You, you and just we all touched. Us. Hang on, and I reach over to Lax and touch Lax, and I say, and I just want like, um, just let me this, just close your eyes when I do this. Close your eyes when I do this. Is Ready? this going to involve my two, butt? Three. No, 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 no. Just close your eyes and, and pretend and see where you go. Ready? One, two, three. And I close my eyes and I touch them. And then I open my eyes and I say, what'd you see? My eyelids. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's not how... That wasn't how it went. We touched, but it's not I, just touch. It's something other than are, touch. Maybe we all touch each other at the same time. Yeah, let's try this all last we, time. Yeah, let's, let's all, let's all, uh, Every, everyone fist bump at the same time. Every, everyone fist bump at the same Hey, do you guys fist bump in your group? We fist bump all the time. Do you guys fist bump? Yeah. We, we do heard, not. We used to have a companion who mentioned fisting quite a lot, but I, I don't know if that's the same thing. Oh, no. No, fisting is very different. different thing. Vastly yeah, different thing. No, fist, fist bumping is you, you gingerly touch knuckles in an acknowledgement of respect and, uh, and, and right. prowess. And brotherhood. Brotherhood. Right, yeah. right. So, yeah. so what's fisting? Fist bump and then try to go to that. Let's tr try to go to that orange light again. Ready? Well, on, on three. Right. right. Okay. One, two, three. Close your eyes. Okay. You all see an orange glow from behind your oh. closed eyelids, and as you open your eyes, you can see Cog is just hovering above the table, but shining <laughs> down this orange light on the food. <laughs> I uh, that, that... don't think it's happening. No. I mean, I saw I did I think... see orange, but it's not the same. Well, look, same. Kevin and uh, was it Edge? Sure, for sure. People call me Bone Man. People call me the Bone Man. Uh, Edgiest, mm. you know, whatever you fancy. Just, you know, just call can, me something. Can I they... ask why they call you the Bone Man? When would Leather Man be more appropriate? Uh, my confused. last name is Bones. My last name is Bones, so ah, it's, it's, a, it's a play right. on my last name. Yeah. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I, I think that um, whoever is trying to help us, uh, they are helping us. Let's try and um, find what we all are looking for. Uh, it is certainly folly for us to split up and try and make our own way. It is just going to be more dangerous, so let us all go there. Find what we need, and then from there we are. We can go our separate ways. Uh, hey, well, well, look, 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 look. Hey, let's let's not talk about anything too hastily. You know, for for us, we're looking for the crystal. What what we just saw was a flower. Now we have literally, and my friend so aptly put it, no idea what the fuck we're doing, um, as we've just no been, plans. you know, winging it. Nothing. Yeah, calendar it's been, it's been is a, completely empty. What he said. Um, so we uh, we would be glad to assist you in your guys' thing. Uh, you guys assist us in ours, and then afterwards, you know, sh sh uh, we're always looking for more members of the band. If you you know, look, uh, one place together. Let's just see how that goes, and then we'll reevaluate. Yeah, let's yeah. just go. Let's it's, go one place so. together. Just, uh, okay. if, if, just the one. Uh, if it helps, the, um, and then the if, flowers if it helps, are it linked it. to the crystal. Um, this, the flowers are also an ingredient that we need to heal the portal. So. If they are the oh. flowers we are looking for. Yeah, well, um, there's, there's a lot of the droids you are looking for. 
I, I, of ifs and buts, uh, you know, and not, you know, not, I didn't mean those kind of buts, but it's, you know, there's a lot going on here and not a lot of real concrete uh, leads, but it seems like you guys at least have something more than we do. We have, we just, we don't have anything. Uh, uh, we'll go one place with you and um, what's the harm? Edge, what's the harm? Uh, let's try it. This sounds good. I, was, I, I think we are yeah. going to have to wait till the morning because I believe that it is useful for Callum to come along with us, and he does not look like he's going to be in any state for a while. Yeah, yeah. No, point, Callum fine. comes stumbling back in with a little bit of vomit on his. <laughs> I um took the liberty of getting us a couple of rooms. I'm going to bed. Pleasure to uh, meet yeah. you, two gentlemen. Ple pleasure, ple that pleasure to meet very... you, my dude. Bump, fist, bump. This is a this is a fist bump. Just bump it out, bump it out, um, Callum. Just right there, knuckles. You, yeah, Just knock boom, it out. There we go. There Pow! Is. You hit it. There you go. That was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. Very good. While they're all doing that, I'm Jewel right will bed. put her hood up, uh, which makes her harder to see, and then we'll try and very quickly and get out of the booth um, and just go. And just head okay. upstairs. Okay, uh, uh, well, I... make me a stealth check. Everybody, make me perception checks, please. Apart from Jewel, of course. I'm gonna spot you this I time. You are, you are, aren't you? Uh, no, because I've got twelve. <laughs> um, I haven't rolled above a twelve all night. Dirty twenty over here. Got an eight. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. 28. 28. 28. No, no, no. You. you turn back around and Jewel is fucking gone. <laughs> Just, oh. There's like this little um, wisp of shadow that's left. That's about it. If it's any consolation, she does this all the fucking time. I have no idea oh. where she is 80% of the time. As, a, as I see this wisp of shadow, Edgius has this moment where behind his glasses, the, the cavernous holes where his eyes should be suddenly feel tight as he flashes back to a darkness of a place that he once visited that had a very similar shadowy kind of smoke and effect to it he's gonna snap back to where he is and just be like mm. uh. so uh lex are you 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 uh you off to bed as well i mean i mean we should we should all probably uh make make way to to the z bedroom uh as as they they say in this area uh um, we're heading and... to our tent our tent is right around behind that big tree we set up our tents before we came in here what are you talking about i mean you could call it a bedroom i guess but it's it's not it's a tent I... <clears throat> I have bunked up with individuals before um we can share a room if you would like this may be uh, the shop talking. <clears throat> yeah, um, I'll tell you what, Lex. Uh, let me ask play, you a question, Lex. Do you want to play uh, Canon uh, sales uh, crossblades for, for, to, to, to find out whether we come? We'll leave, leave it up to, uh, as he calls it, the, uh, <clears throat> I'm not gonna, the, the gods. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Just it on, it, Kevin. Do we my, do it? My on... guys never lost. My guys never lost a game. Hit it, Kevin. So wait, uh, Lex, on three or on shoot? Do we like w w you go on one, shoot. two, three, shoot? So okay, ready? Shh. One, two, three, shoot. <laughs> ah, you beat. Does that win? Does that. <laughs> I don't. Uh, <laughs> ca ca Kevin, no. Remember, remember, we talked about this. You only do one, Kevin. You only choose one of the three. You can't be all three at once. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, let's. I'll tell you what. Like, you know what? Uh, we, we, we would be happy. We would be. We would be delighted if you'd be happy to share. You you can have the bed. We'll take the floor. We're used to sleeping on hard ground. If if that works for you, that works for us. Yeah. And this then point, if we Callum's have, just, just going to might... produce a key and go. This is a second room. Enjoy it. Thank, thank you, Callum. If, if, if we sleep in proximity together, it might cause more shared dreams, is what I was thinking. Might that's, give us more great, that's, that's a great shout. Kevin, why don't you go pack up our tents and I'll meet you up in the room with, with Lex in, in, in a moment. Yeah, okay. Uh, and Kevin was thinking he wanted to talk to Lex, but he knows that he's just been invited out of the room. Um, 
and senses that Edge may want to talk to Lex and he says, um, hey Lex, uh, I guess we'll catch up tomorrow and get to know a little bit more about each other. Uh, nice meeting yeah. you, man. I'll see you a little well, bit later. I'm just going to go grab the bags. Yeah, I'm yeah, going right. to get the bags. All right. See you guys. Okay. Uh, I'm going to lean a little bit closer to, uh, to Lex across the table, kind of tilt my, my trilby down a little bit and be like, so Lex, you you've been with these guys you've been with these people for how long how long have you been traveling with, with oh, these two probably a, probably well with jewel probably going on a month now callum literally the last couple of days oh okay so me, me and me and Kevin have known each other for for a couple months uh, at least now so a p- perfect time to, to to meet some new people and everyone's kind of fresh and and whatnot um let me ask uh, jewel they uh, they, you know, I, I, I don't want to assume that they were a part of any of that weird happenings, but they did just kind of magically poof out of existence. Uh, any thoughts? Ah, uh, yeah, well, she is a creature of the night. She lives in the shadows. She, um, she's the stealthiest motherfucker I've ever met in my life. And I think she, she can disappear, like teleport, but mm. it's not linked to the nefarious weird shit we've been seeing she's um okay she's almost like a she was a part of a gang type thing but now she's on the oh. road to redemption i think oh okay that's that's she that's uses sick. her powers you know, we, for good oh okay that's you know that's metal man good good is metal that's that's awesome uh l- let me ask um it, it gonna sound like a very very strange question i've been looking for for and, you know, other people. Um, I'm, I'm doing a, um, a case study, essentially. This case study is about people who have passed on briefly and then come back into existence and their experiences in, 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 in the Evermore. Now, I, I, I just simply wonder, do you know anything about Jewel possibly, you know, it sounds wild. It, it sounds wild. It's going to sound crazy when I say it. And you're going to laugh. We're going to laugh. It's going to be hilarious once I've said it. But, uh, have they uh, died before or anything like that? <laughs> it's, it's funny you should say that, because since I've known Jules, she has died several times. Several? No shit. Yeah, she's, she's got a no. conch on for dying. Yeah. No shit. Well, well, damn be that. What that's... Well, I need to speak to Jewel tomorrow about some things. I need to... I need to have some some questions and i need to make sure that i i learn some stuff because they they sound perfect for my my case study she um, um, she's not one for sharing you may have to build a bit of trust so it's, it's not for me to say but she will have some oh. if she feels the right to tell you they are some good stories man oh i i you know i don't doubt it from uh, from the amount of uh, uh <laughs> dave how above table how much leather is is jewel wearing um, Sexy yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's leather light, le- very light leather armor. It is very much just a. Um, uh, but yeah, it, it, m- most most of what she wears would be leather. So yeah, it is very much a um, you know all all different types. It's partly armor, partly clothing. Uh, the only thing that probably isn't would be the sort of uh, cloak or cape that she has isn't hell yes yeah. and you would have uh, noticed with even with just jewel sort of shifting in mm. in her seat that the cape when it moves almost goes slightly ethereal in nature and almost looks like mm. it shows the night sky at some moments but other than that then goes back to its quite vibrant red color actually uh i i i bet their stories are crazy based on the amount of leather that they wear typically people who wear more leather have crazier stories hence and he's going to gesture to himself and then uh and then be like but uh but yeah that, that, that's what i was wondering uh, you, you know uh what about you do you like music and uh, at that point edges will just try and make small talk with lex until they eventually come to a place where they can round out the night if there's anything that lex wants to to ask edges i'm welcome happy to uh, mm. enter anything or or, or uh, go down my, any my, i have a potential personal question to ask if if that's okay mm. it's a bit of an observation it's um I really have to concentrate when I'm talking to you because it's quite hard to understand you without making eye contact or without seeing your lips. Um, mm. Mm. Why do you wear mm. the, the scarf on your face? Are you disfigured? 
Uh, heavily so, yes, indeed. Uh, just, ah. just, just horrific. A absolutely. Uh, I was in an awful uh, farming accident as a child, and uh, and uh, it, it's 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 personally my my own thing about it. You know, I, I've I've had a lot of people, you know, bully me throughout the years and and, and put me down, and um, you know, I, I I often do it as 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 a way to conceal my own feelings it's to, con to to save my to save my feelings and less less of a case to uh to you know uh to 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 you know protect anyone else because you know i i'm just a person like everyone else and i think you know if if i could say anything to you you know if if one day you do happen to see me without all of this you know take it at uh, at um Face value, I would say, um, and uh, and you know, and just remember, you know, I'm a person just like everyone else, and that's that's super super important, you know. And, and but but I, I appreciate you asking, and I fully understand no. why one would ask. It's you know, I, I look mysterious as shit like this, but you know, I'm yeah. I'm just a homie yeah. like everyone else. But th th thanks for asking. Uh, no yeah, problem. As a as a person who spent most of their life outcasted in the place they grew up, I, f I feel you. I feel that. Uh, hey, man, it's 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 hard when you know you're something that a lot of people are afraid of or misunderstand. And I think for me, that's something that for the for a little while now I've been experiencing. And uh, and you know, at, at one point in my life it was a little bit easier, but uh, but you know, it's it's been pretty hard recently. So no, I appreciate you saying that, man. And uh, and, and and thank you, thank you for uh, for 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 opening up to me. I, I, I hey. And uh, he's, he's going to shoot a hand across the table, and uh, and you'll notice that his hand is gloved currently, uh, leather glove, um, and uh, and he's going to uh, just shake your hand, um, or put out a hand to shake. You don't have to shake my fucking hand. <laughs> uh, I'm familiar with this protocol, and I'll um, I'll shake your hand. And as you do, uh, you probably notice that the glove is a little bit saggy on the old hand. Like it's a size or two too big, like almost like my digits are thinner and knobblier than you would have maybe expected by the size of glove that I that I gave you. Um, okay. And uh, and and yeah, uh, I'll, and yeah, again, just go back to small talk. Do you have anything else for <laughs> for, for, for Edge? <laughs> no, no, I think uh, cool. we'll, we'll bang it like Kevin and go to bed hell yeah good stuff so we will say then at this moment that you all retire to the two rooms that are available Callum has just stumbled into one room collapsed onto one of the beds left the key in the door and left the door wide open so whoever wants to go in there can go in there Jewel will say you've gone into the other room as well um we are going to choose this moment actually to take a, a short break because we are sort of five minutes past the hour and a half mark um so it is the third anniversary of Malta magic and i didn't say it right at the beginning but we're gonna do it now which is a massive fucking cheers to everyone the whole cast and crew <laughs> to you guys home in the dude um but a massive thank you to to dave and danny for for the last three years because it's been yeah. fucking epic so cheers, a cheers to everyone um, and then, of course, we did promise on social media some amazing giveaways. Now, I believe my father is actually lurking in the stream somewhere and actually watching us. Um, so, Dad, thank you very, very much for this, because this is handcrafted by oh, my father. Uh, one oh, of a kind dice tower for oh, a lucky Lord. winner today. So with the Mortal Magic logo on the front, I'm not going to tilt it down, because you'll see the green screen through the back. Um, but, yes, this is there up for grabs for a very very lucky winner so wow. the only thing you have to do to win this dice tower is to answer a very simple question which we will ask you to answer during the break and then we will choose one lucky winner from the the answers we get during the break if nobody asks answers then we will roll it over to next week um the second giveaway we've got which i am gonna roll over to next week just based on the viewers we've got i think we're gonna roll that over we've got two um sets of pdf modules to give away thank you to the eldritch press 
who have got three modules they are willing to give to two lucky viewers. Um, so that one we will give away, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on the Dice Tower tonight. We will roll the other giveaways over to next week and the weeks beyond, just to keep some hype up. And uh, yeah, so the question I need you all to answer during the break to win that amazing, amazing Dice Tower, one of a kind, is what is the name of the deity that Cavern is trying to track down? That is it. Oh. What is the name of the deity that Cavern oh. is trying to track down? Fucking hell, um, I don't really know what that. Good <laughs> luck with that. His name is fucking <laughs> <laughs> We are going to take a short few minutes break just to refresh, recharge, and then we will be back for part two of this third anniversary celebration. Thank you all so much for joining us so far. Um, first half's been epic. I hope everybody, or I think everybody will agree. We have got two adverts coming up for you during the break, uh, aside from our usual adverts as well, which is going to be the Sky Zephyr's Kickstarter, of course. So you can see Bodhi again Thanks, describing in the, the Kickstarter. And then there is also a, uh, a new, uh, I say a new, another Kickstarter from the Eldritch Press, um, which promises to be very, very exciting. So go show them some love Ooh. as well, all to do with things Fae, and you know how much I love the Fae. So, yes, we'll be back in a few minutes. Stick around, uh, and yeah, see you then. Not that one. Oh, Not that one at all. Oh, yeah, no, no, that was there awesome. we go. That's, that's there better. We go. <laughs> that's better. Something was bound to go wrong. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Professional outfit here. So, um, thank you all for joining us for part two um a few updates on the dice tower during the break did have a few messages from my father there in the background and i will read this out verbatim so i don't fuck it up um so mm -hmm. the wood used for the dice tower is over wood. 200 mm. years old it has been made from old pine floorboards from an old methodist chapel now i'm assuming the the chapel is long since gone and he's not just been out nicking wood from from churches and chapels in the local area um he's not allowed in churches yeah, so so, so, <laughs> <laughs> say again sorry buddy i say he sets on fire doesn't he <laughs> oh well yeah, i think we all do church. don't we so i'm surprised i'm allowed to touch mine and it works and it doesn't burn my hands as i touch it <laughs> probably why you keep getting low rolls though mate yeah, it's true. It's been deconsecrated. Yeah. You're fine, Danny. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exercise. Exercise. It's my demons. <laughs> 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 uh, amazing stuff. So I think, given, actually, we did have one answer in the chat, and I'm actually quite wow. pleased that it was who it, it was um so jk paragon was the correct answer so this Ooh. dice tower my friend is yours it's so well there. done um, a thank you to you as well jk because you are probably one of our most committed followers and fans so i'm actually really happy that is going to you um so i will be in touch over the next few days just to sort out the postage and those sorts of things but we will get that dice tower to you um, enjoy that, my friend. It is a one-of-a-kind item. Uh, I say one-of-a-kind. It's one-of-a-kind for anybody that's not cast and crew. Um, <laughs> so, yes. Uh, oh, <laughs> congratulations, JK. Button. Button. Yeah, no, that's well done. Addition, and baby. again, a happy three years to, to everyone. Um, so, thank you very, very much. Cheers. As we all suddenly Stuff. go quiet on the so, podcast because we're chugging our drinks, so you know yeah, yeah, everyone that really a, enjoyed that. that really enjoys it. Sorry, everyone. It's all good. Everyone oh. just hears so, swallows. Um, uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> After the whole suppository and yeah, swallows probably not the right term to be using right now. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> that's a good point. It's not a good one. Um, times, you know. Yeah. <laughs> So, first things first, everybody can click the long rest button if they haven't already done so. Oh, yes. Get yeah. health points and all those sorts of things back. Um, we wake up the next morning. Kevin, I'm going to come to you first. Where are you? Um, I actually woke up <laughs> early and uh, scooted back outside. And I'm just kind of kicking around outside trying to mull over the evening and what I made of it. And I'm thinking about Jewel and not quite have a, a real sense of Jewel yet. Um, 
and I didn't see much of Calum. Calum was sort of in the periphery, kind of coming and going, and then gone. Uh, but it was Lex that I was thinking about mostly and thinking about how, at times, we seemed to connect in a way that I connected with Edge uh, when we first met. And I think that's overwhelming my any kind of doubt or um, hesitation I have about going forward with this group that we just met hours ago. And but I, so I'm, I'm trying to reconcile all of it and get to a position where I'm yeah okay to to take this step forward with these guys. Good stuff. So you spend some time just sort of working through these emotions, these thoughts, these feelings while you're outside, and there's there's moments where you can feel that underlying that underlying rage as you remember back to your history and the journey you've been on and it's just these moments um mm. where you can feel that initial tingle but then you think around what's to come and the events of yesterday and and that journey forward and that almost helps in that moment to just settle yourself down and and think about okay we've got today to tackle let's let's deal with that um i'm going to open it up to the rest of the cast then who would wake up next callum is fucking flat out passed out by the way he's, he's <laughs> drunk as shit like, he's, he's gone <clears throat> uh, Joel gets up um, quite early and will go out and find if there is a um, blacksmith or uh, one of the weapon shops open um, because you'd like to go and get the longsword appraised, looked at, you know, um, see if you can glean any more information from it. But yeah, she will leave early Excellent. to go and do that. And yeah, not quite knowing how she's getting on with the two people they've met feels like it's just going to be, you know, let's get this sorted and then move on. Uh, I, I would probably have gotten up the, the, the same time as Cavan, as we were like kind of in the same seeping patterns, traveling around with each other. So as Cavan's there in the, in, you know, I imagine behind the tavern or whatever, just kind of in thought, the camera then pans over to the right to, uh, to Aegeus, who is doing like some slow, like almost somatic <laughs> gesture of Tai Chi next to him, basically. Um, and you can just hear him under his breath. He's like, Come on, come on, get down with the sickness. Uh, come on, come on, get down with the sickness. And, you know, he's just, he's, he's, he's just, he's just kind of like to himself as he's doing this. And uh, he's just trying to feel that, uh, that energy, that magical arcana that flows with him, in him and in his bones at this point. And uh, also, he's, uh, he is not in, in, uh, in Garm. He currently is full bones out. He's got, uh, he's taken off the little like end of his glove, which uh, folds back and has a little like button on the top to reveal fingerless gloves um, that he, that he wears. And uh, he's got his full red mohawk out flowing in the wind as he's doing this like metal Tai Chi. And, uh, and you can see, you know, he's got a crack above his eye in his skull that's held together by a piercing. His ribs have metal rings all along them that uh, that have been placed on there, and uh, yeah, he's he's just <sighs> just every now and then just <laughs> just uh, just doing his tai chi and, uh, and 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 doing a bit of that, you know. And uh, yeah, um, when he's when he's done, he's gonna look to Cavan and be like, "Should we get back inside? Rewrap up glasses, hat, glove tips back on, and." Zzz zip back up and, uh, and and be ready to go back in but uh, while he's doing that he's just thinking about uh he's thinking about the liminal space between what came before and where he is now and he's for the first time in his travels Jules might actually be someone who understands him in a in a much deeper deeper level and he is both excited and scared uh, while doing his uh, his tai chi, and that's uh, that, that's me. Awesome. So Lex, what are you doing this morning? Well, Cog wakes me up at the same time every day. He's like my little alarm clock radio, and um, and so then whilst I wake up to an empty room, I don't consider that odd because that's happened with any companion. They're either there or they're not. Jules always fucking off. So he, he knows she'll come back. 
<clears throat> she's like a boomerang so he'll use his time to do his meditation and hope to regain some composure because he he knows that this shot of alcohol which is the first he's ever had in his life affected him and he was not his usual composed self so he wants to really make sure he's uh he's on top spock form today my god like your role with her <laughs> fuck you <it> now <laughs> it's a pers- I have to pers- I have to persuade myself do i in it uh, let me just double check. I believe it is a saving throw, isn't it? So it is a yes, Charisma. no, a persuasion check on yourself. Yeah. Either way, it's a nine, so <laughs> that's, that's a fail. But plus yeah, six Lex as well, is going to be. And gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Lex is uh, going to have a fun day. We're today, getting spicy, Lex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, we're talking about Cavern's butt. So as you're meditating, <laughs> then, uh, Jewel, you wander off to the blacksmiths and you see a um, a, a half elf, um, you think male individual is just there, sort of cleaning down an anvil, looking quite droopy eyed and, and sleepy, and just sort of sees you approaching. Morning. Oh, good morning. Would this be uh, the right place to um, get some more information on a sword that I found on my travels? Oh, that's going to be a uh, early start. <laughs> uh, yes, sorry. Uh, uh, hmm. Yeah, um, let me just... Uh, Long night. Put some goggles on and then shakes the head. <laughs> sorry. So, uh, you wanted a sword. Yes. Sorted. So, here. Yeah. Um, and she will take it off her belt because it's very crudely, you know, wrapped under her belt at the moment. Um, and we'll show her the long sword that they picked up near the portal. <clears throat> very good. I am just looking to you see uh, at any of the properties. Uh, if it is, um, uh, well, if. If it is a uh, good balance, um, and any any other things that you can tell me with your keen and uh, professional eye. So as you lay or sort of hand over the long sword, they sort of look at it and holy shit! You found this? Yes. This is beautiful. It does look very... Like, uh, I make some good shit, but this is... Oh, you, you, you wanting to sell this? Uh, no, I am hoping to uh, keep shit. it. Um. Okay, uh, well, let me see if I can find out any more information for you. And they sort of lay it down, and they, they take out some tools, and flick a few sort of uh, lenses over these, these goggles that they wear. And that metal is... Perfect, perfect. Like no blemishes, almost like it's never been used. The craftsmanship on the handguard there. Where did that? Oh, you... I'd love to know how they got the color and the steel. That's that's amazing. Uh, look, there's clearly some magic in this thing. Um, it, would that not, uh, not, also not, not a mage? Was that also suffice as to why uh, you said it is? Uh, looks like it's never been used, and yet it was found almost. Half deep in uh, in some stone, uh, broken stone, admittedly. Oh, okay, Cut. sword and stone, really? We've all heard that. No, don't, it is don't. not that. Come on. No, <laughs> just you are saying it has not been used, and yet I found it in the ground. So that would mean magical. Almost, well, most definitely. Um, they're going to roll an insight check on you. <laughs> They, they, it was a 15. Um, I don't sense any sort of bullshit. So, um, look, I've nev- I rarely see anything, if, if ever, this finely crafted. Um, you're going to have to get somebody to understand the magic in this thing. I'm, I'm not that good, but... Um, seriously, this, this is... This is beautiful. Uh, if you're not going to sell it, hold on to it. Do not like keep this close. This is 
this, any thief is going to be looking and see this and just fucking straight. Let me give you a scabbard, actually. I'm not that, letting this that sort was, of beautiful thing. That was my next question. If you had one, I can uh, purchase off you. And they pull down a number of just made scabbards, and they're not. Like, there's some that are, are reasonable, but they're not the most amazing things ever. You get he's probably, uh, or they were a little bit, um, a little bit overconfident in their skill of what they do, um, and they just sort of measure up the scabbard, and then eventually find one that roughly fits it. It's not gonna hide the the craftsmanship of the the handle, the handguard, and the sort of uh, the haft and all that, but it should hide the blade and. As long Should as I can carry it safely. Steel. Yes, thank you. Yeah, we can. Yeah, that'll attach to you to your belt. That's a lot of leather you've got going on here. <laughs> yes, it is. So, how much? Oh, uh, five silver. It's it's not my best work. Perhaps for another five silver, you can tell me a. Mage in the town? In this town? Yes. Oh, you'll be struggling. Um, weapons? Um, I don't, honestly, I'd probably just take it to the elders and see what they think, but. Thank you. Well, I am honest. Here is a gold. Oh. <clears throat> Cheers. Um, good day to you. I attach the scabbard with the sword on my belt, throw my hood up again, and walk off. And there's a moment where they just go, what the... This was not the right morning for this shit. And just take the goggles off and walk straight back inside. Um, we'll say at this moment, Lex, Edge, and Kavan, you've all sort of joined together, and Callum just comes sort of creeping down the stairs and just rubs their, their <laughs> forehead and just looks at you, Lex... I'm blaming you for this. I hope you realize that. Um, what? I, uh, I had one shot. And I knew yes. my limits. You had at least 15 minutes. <laughs> was it really 15? Fuck. It was okay, 15. Okay, I blame myself. It, it was 15. Yeah. I thought you might shit yourself. That, well, that was what the tree said. was for. And so we're all good on that. No, don't, don't worry. It's it's fine. It's a night I will quite happily forget. You mean the alcohol made you forget? You probably can't remember anyway. Just okay. We're we're fine. We're fine. I do have to uh, ask. What's though, the plan did, for today? now? You are coherent. Did you make us have a joint vision last night, or was that coincidental? Mm, I don't great make question. people have visions. Lex, I am. Well, I'm very touched. I have powers, but they are granted to me from the Fey. It's not like I can just touch anybody and say, "Ooh, here's a vision. You get a vision. And you get a vision. And you get a vision." <laughs> it's not how I work. Oh, but when we all I, when I, we all I, I used touched... to know someone who said something like that. You get a car. Do you, rem you get a car. <laughs> do, 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 do you remember? Do you remember, Kevin, the lady we met uh, the, the the other week? Her name was Oprafimfre. Oprafimfre. That's what it was. Oprafimfre. Oprafimfre. Do, do, do you remember how generous she was? Just giving everyone the things, but all the same thing. No one got anything different because that would then make some people better than others. So she just gave everyone the same stuff. That was a good time. That, yeah. that was a good time. Was that was really good. Yeah, she was, she was bigger than life. She was uh, really something, wasn't she? And everyone loved her. I heard, and, uh, I heard she had a book club, but who knows? Yeah. <laughs> 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 but the, but, but Callum, uh, the thing is, uh, I have been thinking, and I, th we tried it last night. After I think you left, or you were. Leaning Sorry, over on you're the not side. going to start describing things with buttholes again, are you? Well, I mean, oh, you remember the butt no. thing too. <laughs> well, that was <laughs> sadly. Well, you will all remember that, and it will that keep was happening, the... as you'll find out very soon. 
it was an icebreaker. It was a way for us to all come together. And look, it's working, right? We're all bonding on something that was common ground for all of us last night. And here we are. But, but beyond that, uh, we all bumped into each other the moment. Did you have, do you remember having a vision last night? Did Maybe. you, you were, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. In the in the glade, in the glade, cat. In the glade, and 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 it was an orange. Glade. Yeah, yeah, and it was an orange glow over some petals. I'm, and... I'm going to be very you said candid you were with going you, Kevin. I was drunk today. off my ass. So, visions? No. It sounds like you all had some shared experience, which is fine. And enjoy that. I didn't. I turn to Lex and I say, let me just ask you, thought, just a thought, we get him drunk, he bumps into us, we have another vision. I don't know. Like, I'm more than happy to try That's an experiment this, but maybe I'm not willing tonight. to get on board with. I think that situation in induced Situation-induced memory. I've heard about this on my yeah. travels, actually. I heard, it's almost like I've hypnosis. Heard, yeah, exactly. You know Let's get this man a meat. Um, and, Where the uh, fuck I, is I Jewel just... when you need her? <laughs> uh, that's a good point. Where is Jewel? Has anyone seen them? She's probably last here. Night? We would never know. She, she might be sitting right next to you. Yeah. It, sitting next to me? Edris is going to do a quick yeah. like left, right. If you've got like... like a little laser pointer, that usually brings her out of hiding. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have many bell-sounding items attached to my trousers and coat. Would that do it? Maybe a, a jingle jangle of my, my, my clothes might do it. Jingle, 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 jingle. <laughs> <laughs> it is very annoying sound, I have to say. Uh, oh, uh, uh, there she is. Hello! Hello, good good morning, Jewel. It's a, it's a pleasure to see you today. How are you feeling? Uh, as hungover and as bad as uh, our friend over here? I uh, I did my best to stick to the wine, and it has much of a much less of an effect on me. Having been, I'm quite used to it. How is everyone doing? Yeah, good, it's looked yeah. all right. Still feeling a little bit out of sorts, if I'm not if I'm honest with you, I'm not. The alcohol has an effect on me, so uh, I might be off my game today. Yeah, or you I'm might sure be feeling that you might be tapping into something that's, although it feels different and odd, it doesn't necessarily mean it's worse. You know, it could be just a, a different angle. For any of you who have, uh, who have been feeling uh, worse for wear, perhaps we should have this discussion on the roads. A bit of fresh air mm. would help. We do need mm. to get going. Fresh air sounds fantastic. Um, <laughs> I, I bet it does. I, I, I bet it does. <laughs> uh, yes, it does. As he yes, gips in his um, mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm tempted to ask for breakfast, but then... Mm, no, perhaps not. I will... Uh, I will make do to lunch. Are we, are we going to the elders to ask about... Or are we following our vision northeast? Well, I'm going by your lead. I have no fucking clue what we're doing next. Why don't we stop by the elders, ask them about the grove glade in the northeast, and then we go to the gl grove glade in the northeast. Two, two birds, one path. That's definitely yeah, how the saying goes. Lex, yeah. uh, what, what, what do you think? Um, again, is it not better for us to have a little more information when we go to them? We, we, like we were saying, it's... Seems like they were possibly holding back, so yeah. do we go uh, or I think I think the fact that we've had a vision we could lay that on quite thick and that might open Make some us doors. sound ridiculous. No, no, it might just say, sound enlightened and they may or, they or drunk. Or you can leave parts of the story. I mean, I was drunk, obviously. so I'll <laughs> yeah, you, you, don't, don't mention your that. Part don't of the story to I'm, ju that. I'm yeah, just saying, yeah. Lex, that yes, we have we have become accustomed to it, but maybe we are all going completely crazy. What I am saying is, yeah. I don't know. I mean, do we need to come back here? We are looking for two other things, uh, not just um, 
what we are going for, so it is up to you. If you so want to go and see them, that is fine. First, and come back to them once we've done the portal. Yeah. Okay. Yes, because also we are not yeah. saying um, you know we found it. It is a problem. We are also going. We found it. It is a problem, and we are on the way to uh, a solution. Yeah. Okay. Solutions Leave the make people happy. Mm. They do. Correct. Yeah. That's okay. It sounds like, uh, well, what are we afraid of here? What's going on with these elders? Are they, are they holding something over you? Do they they're have shady, some sort of consequence? Shit. They're shady. Yeah, they're, they're, I mean, most that's of nothing. That's are. not a metaphor about the lighting in the room. That's a, a play on the fact oh, that they no, are. No, 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 no. I, yeah, I know when. So the, the, the metaphor things are. There's a timing to them, and you know, if you get it wrong, then it, it doesn't land. Properly, but that wasn't. I get, I get it. They were by shady. Yeah, yeah. You meant. What's going on? Like, what's what's uh, yeah. what's going well, on there? We we're looking for someone who we think is responsible for a murder. And mm. um, wait, 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 wait. Back up. Wait, say that again. He said a murder. Some, he said a murder. Yeah, 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 yeah. A murder. Somebody was murdered. Yeah, you you just roll, you rolled. You rolled. Responsible. You rolled past that. Uh, someone yeah, got murdered? Yeah, uh, I'm glossing over that detail because actually that is the least weird thing that's happened to us in the last couple of months. But yeah, essentially, um, there, a murder happened in the town that we were at and we're trying to prove who did it. Um, we've been hired by somebody to investigate that case. And it's all linked to the disturbances and the disappearances. We think the murderer is somehow responsible for the weird shit that's been going on. And the elders promised us information on this suspect if we did this thing for them. So it's we're kind of trading information in, in relation to our access. Did this thing for them, which is to wreck the portal and... Uh... Well, we were investigating weird disturbances that were happening in that town, which we think are linked to this portal. So we think if we heal it, it'll yeah. prevent their town from getting any more stuff. So what are they asking in exchange for the information on the murder? Just answers. So, no, 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 like, they, they, yes, they were actually going to give us the information uh, we were looking for. Ah, okay. The information you were looking for. Okay. So why are we hesitating? Okay. Why, why aren't we just going and, I mean, we want that information. Why aren't we just marching over there and getting the information and making our way? We, 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 remember, remember last week when we were on the boat coming over here, we spoke about how sometimes just going and getting information, there's, there's a process, there's a social decorum to, 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 to some of these procedures. My there point. is, but we, uh, perhaps, uh, Kevin, you, you do have a point now that we do think on it. We have found what the problem is and found the source. We can tell them and we this can leverage the fact that we are also willing to solve it, but that they need to pay up. So, Lex, so, so you are correct. Fun. We do need to go and speak to the elders. I apologies. Uh, I, I, in, in my uh, early morning rise, I, I forgot our purpose. I find that just, that's just straight to the point gets us there the quickest way. That sounds like the elders is the point. Let's to go the give elders. them the point then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lead the way. I don't know. I we I don't know the elders. How, how many of them are there? There's how old are they? What do they look like? There's there's five. Um, there's five. They're all different. Yes, five. Um, shall I take this, Jewel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, there. Yeah. Well, yeah. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. Let's let, let's go. <laughs> Uh, right, let's walk and talk, walk and talk. So, yes, um, oh, sore heads, sore heads. So, yes, there's five. The oldest of them is uh, quite, well, she still looks pretty good for her age, from what I can understand, but a very, very old elder <laughs> lady. Um, oh. Oh, well, if you're into that sort of thing, I, uh, yes. <laughs> hey, um, you said it, not us. That's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Inside Leora check on Callum. So yes, Leora is the the eldest of the elders. She is an, an elven woman. She's got sort of very typical elven features: long white hair and, and very striking. You've then got sort of this. Uh, there's a half elf, Tharian Storm Song, Storm Sing, Storm Storm Song. 
um, quite charismatic and open. You've got Glim Silvervein, who's, um, I'm, well, one could say half elven or half dwarven. Either way, it's a strange combination, not one I've seen before. Um, but yes, uh, you've got Silara, she's another one of uh, pure elven heritage, and then there's Dragon Ironheart, who is um, another half elf, half dwarf. They all have really sick names. I like. I feel like as elder, <laughs> like as a group of elders, that's a, that's a. You, you know, you know, Callum. Uh, first of all, commend you for remembering that shit. Second of all, them some sick names. I can't wait to meet these people. They sound badass. I'm sure yeah. you'll have a fruitful time. <laughs> hmm. And you continue to wander up to that central building within Mortasian. Um, as I described previously, but for, for Tom and Bodhi, Mortasi is, is almost like the city has been created within the forest itself. So there's definite elven architecture, and it's almost like the, the pathways are formed where there were gaps in the trees, and the buildings have been built up around tree structures. But you approach this central building that is built into the base of a very large oak tree and it's the the grandest building in the whole of the the town and you sort of walk up and there are some guards there and seeing jewel lex and callum they just sort of in uh, and allow you to approach and they they do make you wait for a Trouts. moment and you see then a couple of villagers sort of exit out um and 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 wander off elsewhere as you are then told to enter in and the five elders are there seated again on these five seats the table that had been placed there a few days ago for your feast where you first met callum has long been removed and they are sat there now in their sort of audience mode where they are hearing the the plights and the challenges of the the local folk uh, and as you approach leora is just going to raise one eyebrow and you have returned. With good news, I hope. And friends. Introductions Sutton. will need to be made. Oh, pleasure. Uh, uh, Edgius Bones and my uh, my companion, uh, Kevin. Kevin Buckland. Uh, here with the rest of these good people. Leora, we... Uh, we have found the source of the problem. There okay. is a um, a portal to uh, another plane that has uh, been corrupted. We found said portal. It has not been a look, look towards like uh, <laughs> fixed yet. Yeah, it's corrupted. It needs healing. But we have found the source okay. of the issues that are plaguing you in, in this area. Yeah. Long story short, we need your help to do that. I'm sorry, you want our help to heal a portal? Do you know where the portal goes? What it does? Or Yeah, well, we, we know what ingredients we need, and we're hoping you'll be able to tell us where these ingredients are. Oh. Well, continue. continue. And our new friends have offered to help us in the search, because they, they, uh, we have a mutual path that we're on sup again That's fantastic yeah fantastic so edgius and cavern and That's i assume right. you're looking for some sort of recompense as part of this as well no i mean that would be nice but that that, that didn't first come to mind but shit yeah that would be cool we're about that you can recompense us whatever you want yeah i think we're uh, that'd be great but um i guess we're looking for answers as well you must have the answers. That's that's why we're here. To which questions? Oh, yeah. Um, we're looking for a starlit crystal, which is apparently in a hidden grove. A morning dew infused with the essence of laughter and um, some orange glowy flowers that grow in direct full moonlight. Sorry, have you all been drinking? This is ridiculous, surely. That's that drinking is irrelevant to the story and is no way connected. Um, 
It just looks at but Callum. If I'm a, yeah. Side eye to Callum. <laughs> um, but we did we did share a vision of where the glowy flowers are going to be to the northeast. But we're hoping you might be able to help us locate the hidden grove or know what the hell. How do you infuse something with the essence of laughter? As a man who hasn't laughed much myself, I'm not sure how. How we do well, that. Well, this is making me laugh quite a quite a bit. Um, yeah, infuse it, bottle it, let us have it, quick. Sure, I'm. Uh, yes, whatever. Um, you Sorry, said you had uh, a vision. Uh, Surely that would make the most sense to go and follow that vision. Uh, out of game, what can you remind us? Matt, how we know that these three things are gonna gonna help? Who told us? So I'm, I, I, uh, it's been a, it's been a few weeks. <laughs> if I remember right. Oh, I read it, it in the book. Another... I yes. read it in my portal book. Fine, there yes. we go. That makes a hell of so a lot of sense. I'm... Yeah, legitimate yeah, yeah. information. Show the book. <laughs> Kevin steps sh- forward and says, uh, thing. and says, um turns to Lex and to Jewel and says, look, I'm sorry, but this is bullshit. And then I didn't, we came to see the elders. The elders was meant to tell us something. This is bullshit. Are you here? You want us to do something for you, but you're not telling us anything. You want to help us? Or do you want us to just go on and do whatever we want to do? And so the path shall part i think what my friend is trying to ask is 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 do you know the area uh very well and surrounding areas very well because if so we need a grove that's hidden with moonlight to a flower was what my what was what my friend was saying so if you are elders and have grown here or lived or eldered or whatever you people pootled i don't know what you guys do um in this area and and wandered and you know the place it, please could you share with my gracious friends here um a, a little bit about uh the, where we might find such a thing now look we are simply trying to solve your portal issue while at the same time trying to help my friend get closer to peace and at the same time uh, help these two people um and he's going to look at Jules and Lex as if to say, uh, do I mention the murder or do I not mention the murder? Uh, the help nice. them find <laughs> There was the one person. yes and one no there. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, he sees the yes. Help them find the person <laughs> that had that did a gruesome and and terrible act of of stealing a life from another so we are but humbly trying to do good things for 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 people that that need good things being done Jules Jewel, Jewel's gonna uh, insight check the uh, uh, the elders and may and mainly um, is it Leora uh, for Leora. that sort of a, yeah that 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 a um, the the, the way that Kevin spoke to him and and you know is is uh, because it does very much look like feel like they're hiding something. So are they are they affronted at that? Make me Good pop, check pop, baby. Uh, it's crap. Uh, <laughs> it'll be it'll be a twelve. God, that's boring. There is so many glances, looks, conversation snippets of that. It's just. It's difficult to get a read on any one person, but at this moment, one of those half-elf, half-dwarf figures just sits forward, and it's the male, one of the two, Dragon, Ironheart, who sits there with that sort of rugged build, and they just lean forward. I think you'll need to remember who you are speaking to. We are not merely just people in this town. We run this town. You want answers, you must do something for us, which we have asked. Solve this phenomenon, and then we will tell you about this M person. May Nora, this, this is what was agreed. Coin also. If you have more questions, then, well, I am sure at some point we can get to them. I, uh, I again, look to... Lex 
and to Jewel and I say, ah, look, man, I, I probably shouldn't be here because this is fucking stupid. I'm out. Like, look, here's the thing, man. I'm really sorry. I'm really, really sorry. But in my world, if we do a deal, you help me with everything that you know, and I help you with everything that I can do. And that's the, f that's the deal. So if you can't do that, I might not be in the right place. Do you know what's Kevin? So check, please. You have a point. With advantage. He, he definitely does have a point and you know, I, I, I tried I tried to be amicable with you, but my friend, you don't want to see him. It's okay, Edge. It is okay. Um, that's a seventeen. God, you're rolling like a fucking winner tonight, Tom. Nice. <laughs> <clears throat> um, at this point, the the younger elven female individual, Silara, sits forward and just looks at Dragon and just Dragon. Not now. Listen, you make a very good point. We have not been forthcoming. Perhaps we should be more so. Um, this place you seek to the northeast. I have heard of a, a, a myth or legend, I guess you would call it, but um, there are whispers is probably the most apt. Term of a glade, the Whispering Glade. Funnily enough, it is said to hold a power unlike any other, but one that is rare and can only be found under certain conditions. If this is where your vision has guided you, then perhaps you need to be traveling there. The information I know about this place is that it is towards the base of the mountains, the Ethernear Peaks, deep within the, the forests of Dryamir. Now, this is not going to be an easy journey. You will have to use all of your survival skills to stay on the right path. It is easy to get lost in the, the forest. The trees are large, they are many. So if you do so, I suggest you be careful. If this is your where you have been guided, then I suspect this is what you are searching for. The Whispering Glade. Thank you. I know none of which who have found it. That it is a so pleasure to easy. continue to work together with this. I step Can forward and I make just... me uh, insight checks, please? <laughs> I can't believe it took you that long to get that out, guys. Damn. Um, 19. Ooh, it's a 9. Good. That's a 17. 20, 23! Hey. <laughs> Everybody except Kevin can see that Leora is not a happy bunny. She doesn't <clears> like being, or it's almost like she doesn't like being undermined. Ah, oh, fuck her. Mm. <laughs> Well, well the chance. Th th thank <laughs> well, you yeah. for th th thank you for giving us the time. It seems like that was a very difficult process for you all. I hope you have some intermingling uh, stuff to deal with after this. But uh, but otherwise, we will bid you guys adieu. We're gonna go to uh, the the Whispering Glade, I believe, is is where we're where we're gonna make our way. But thank you for just taking the time and as always um you know we 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 we'll try and do our best you know it's it's that's me and Kevin's promise anytime we uh we we make a deal with people is that we'll give it our absolute best and uh and we'll we'll hopefully see you guys on the other side uh, i guarantee with you know the professionalism of these two and uh and per on purposely leaving Callum out um and uh, <laughs> and, uh, um and don't mind me, darling. Two. I'm just here. Uh, and uh, you know, we are. We, we feel very confident in, in what we can do. So thank you for for, for taking the time, elders and uh, and and 
grumpy lion heart guy. Um, it's 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 been an absolute pleasure. I will continue to look for more whispers of these other items you seek. If this will help you close this portal or whatever it needs to be done, then I will search. I will search, and she looks at the other elders, and I will see what I can uncover for you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Best of luck. Jewel will nod um, her thanks to the uh, the elder who has been speaking there, but ignores all the other ones and turns around and walks off. Very good. Camel system like, oh, we're leaving, and we're, we're off. We're going. <laughs> good day. Um, as as Kevin sees the rest of the group head for the door, he turns around and goes back to the table and kind of gets down on one knee and says, my part of the deal is uh, I'm tortured and I'm angry and I'm looking for answers and uh, I'll do my best. Sorry if I offended. And stands up and walks out. There is hushed conversation immediately amongst the elders as you sort <laughs> of you march out and join your your allies. And and Callum's just gonna look around and go, Well, I thought that went rather well. Yeah, I like I quite like your direct approach, Kevin. It gets results. I might try try and adopt a similar similar style. I have to say, Kevin, it um, it, it did snap me out of uh, how we have been uh, over the last couple of weeks. Uh, I know the Elven culture. Uh, for I am from the area. I had just not quite tweaked how guarded they are being. And yeah. it's yes, it was getting on my nerves. I did not realize, and I am grateful for mm. that abruptness. Oh. Yeah, I think what, what, what we have learned is as we are kind of on the run, we've taken a stance of groveling politeness, whereas I think... Uh, the we, 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 we have had to. We, well. we owe a number of people uh, our lives over the, the, the past couple of weeks, and those who have even helped me to continue to live. Um, You're welcome. A nod to Lex. So, yes, we have been quite a... That is the word, like groveling. Yeah. And I am glad to have not done that this time. And as However, as, and as it does sound like we do need to get a lot of supplies before we die out in the wilderness. Yeah. <laughs> and as Jewel said, help me to live, I'll look at Edgeus as a note to say that you're in, to ask him about dying. Ta yeah, 100%. Uh, I'm going to be like, damn, like, Play cool, play cool, Lex. Jeez, <laughs> um, and uh, and uh, and be like, uh, Jules, uh, would love to have a chat with you. I'm I'm doing a uh, a case study uh, of, of, about some stuff that I'd love to discuss with you. Uh, Lex was telling me you might be a prime candidate to uh, to to have a discussion with. Uh, but we we can chat. You know, once once we've gotten supplies and are on the road, maybe we can find a. a a moment to uh, a moment to, to, to catch up but clearly uh, the, the I, I, I would look forward to it that would be amazing um, I am sure it would be very enlightening for both I, I would be delighted to indulge in some fruitful conversation with an ally and a friend um, I Oh, I mean, the, the 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 Sun is but almost midday let's uh, let's make haste get supplies and dare I say, get the fuck out of this weird-ass town that serves really good seafood that I will never forget. And, uh, and, and, yeah, let's, 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 let's get those supplies. Uh, by supplies, are we thinking, like, like, really big bags? Because, uh, see, I've got this shoulder thing, you know, I, 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 I once, uh, I, you know, I, I once had a lot more muscle, and now it's like the bag straps just really wear on my shoulders. Um, but yeah, I've, I've got a bag we can use, and I'll point to my bag of holding. Oh, now that's sick. That that's 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 sick. Okay, cool. Uh, well, uh, Jules, what, what what type of stuff do you think we need? Uh, my, my my guy here, Kevin, is is pretty good out in the wilderness. Kevin, you got any advice for us? What do you guys think, the two of you? Uh, I, I'm at that moment. I'm. 
still kind of in my head and I've been making my way shuffling, uh, not even hearing what Edgius has said and just kind of shuffling over to Callum um, to see if uh, during all the chatter I can find a, a quick little moment where I can talk to Callum. And I look up mm -hmm. and I say, uh, well, uh, I don't know, you guys get what I get. Uh, I'm going to be, we're going to be fine. Let's just get whatever we get. And it's the wilderness and we'll be fine out there. I promise you. I think uh, the most I was thinking of, uh, to be honest, I do not know. They, again, as you said, were very unsure as to what it is going to be. We've just got to be very careful. So that is uh, keep our head on a swivel. And quite frankly, we do not know how long we are going to be out there. So rations, that is it. That was all I was thinking. Nice. Okay. Rations, well, well, yes. What we don't buy, we can uh, we can kill. And uh, we got tents, we got um, tools. We can, we'll be fine. I'm going to if go it's... get a new string for my loot as well before we leave because it's uh, it's a little bit loose and twangy at the moment, and I need to I need to get a new one. It's uh, it's starting to lose some of that that tightness. Um, I'll do that before we leave. Uh, sorry, sorry, I, I interrupted you, Lex. My apologies. No, I was just going to say if we're um, traveling near mountains, will am I dressed suitably for the weather? Will I need cold clothing? That's we're a not good ascending question. a mountain, are we? So I suppose if, yeah. if we're in the in the forest, it'll be similar to what it is now, right? <clears throat> Would you have an understanding uh, of the area, whether it gets particularly mountainous like that? I know that. Uh, I know it's, I know it's me not quite the area. Survival check, please. I will say advantage because this is your region, your well, your home region. Survival is nonsense anyway, so it's a sixteen. 16 it's still not bad so it still stays fairly temperate as you're in the forest based on the vision you didn't see it up the mountain um okay so you get the impression that actually you would be okay you're not you're not being asked to ascend a mountain right now me duster will be fine then when your trench coat will be fine <laughs> yes i do not so believe uh, at the moment the we will need any uh, uh winter cloaks or anything no okay Sweet. Uh, that's that's saves us all money. Um, rations. Do we want to get anything like uh, like rope or uh, you know like like something you know just just in case I we need to like tie up a, a little tree frog or something like that or make a snare or you uh, know, we can do, do, certainly do take like a that. little more rope. Um, I believe I still have uh, an amount and a few supplies. If you want to get any more, feel free. But yes. Yeah. Oh, so well, actually, in in case we do cross a body of water, I do have a boat, a boat in here as well. Um, um, I don't think I heard you. Did you say a boat? Yeah, a rowboat. Yeah, it's, it's shrunken at the moment, but we can enlarge it and shrink it at will. Oh. We can use that to cross a body of water if we need to. You just have to say a particular word. Uh, Lex, please do not say it now. I do not know want to find out what it does to your uh, your bag. But sure. yeah, yeah, you, you saved me there. I was about to say it. Yes, <laughs> I could tell. <laughs> uh, sweet, well, let's, Very well. Uh, rations and let's equipment. get rations in bit. Yeah. As this is all happening, I I kind of saunter closer to Callum and I say, uh, "Hey, uh, we haven't oh, spoken." Yes, uh, what? Huh? No, we haven't. Yeah, no. Uh, I mean, I'm, I, I'm Cavan. you it's Callum with a C. And uh, yes, I, I look. I I'm not an educated man like you. I'm just. I get a sense that you. We're gonna need you. Like in a way that. That maybe you haven't. Uh, we're gonna need you. And I look at him. Sorry, are you asking or are you telling me here? <laughs> I'm, uh... Tell me a little bit about, uh... What's your thing, man? What's your fucking thing? My thing? Yeah, yeah, your thing. Well, you can see the ear, and he points to his right ear, which is pointed like an elven ear. Um, and the other ear is distinctly human and as you look into Callum's eyes they are purple uh, sorry pinkish purple but they are flecked with almost like pinpricks of light in the irises 
I spent the majority of my life amongst the Fae. Grew up in the Feywild. Before that, spent, well, I suppose you'd call it time in the East now. Wasn't always East, though. Um, yes. The Fae looked after me. After my supposed father figure uh, went missing. So my thing is to find him. But in doing so, if I can help out the Fae and repay their kindness, then that is my thing. Does that suffice for, for you? Yeah, that, that, it does. It, yeah. Uh, thank you. I, I just never did. I didn't get... I, it feels like you opened... Thank you, man. Uh, all, you, all you have to do my is... Last name's, uh, my last name's Buckland. I don't, I don't know my family. I was... Uh, yeah, anyway. Um, family is... Um, I guess who you choose. Not necessarily just blood. Yeah. <clears throat> Callum with a C. Anyway. Callum yeah. with a C. Let's, um, <laughs> let's go find those rations, shall we? Yeah. You missed the opportunity good. to say you opened up like the spreading of cheeks. You, <laughs> it, was right <laughs> it was right there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we will say that you all sort of bomb burst out and go grab the various items you need so i'll say everybody grabs at least seven days worth of rations um you manage to grab a little bit of rope edgiest you manage to get uh, your uh, your guitar string your sorry your lyre string or lute string um Kevin, I, I imagine you probably just wander off with edgiest not needing anything right now um but whatever you need yeah mundane items and we'll say you spend a maximum of a a few silver each so we'll say three silver each these items are easy to come by not hard not expensive um and you then begin begin to set out on your journey and you look up to where the the sun is in the sky and um find your direction and begin to head towards the coast um, as you are heading northeast out of Morse Tacey. And this takes you along the edge of the the Dryamerian forest that exists on this particular islet, if you like, or small island. Um, and you travel for maybe a couple of hours or more, and at that po point you reach the coast, and you can see in the distance the far shoreline, which is just littered with these giant green trees as the Dryamerian forest extends out before you and faintly, faintly rising above them, one of the peaks of the Aethernir peaks that marks the boundary of the region of Dryamere before it meets the plains of Dinarith. And that, my friends, given the time, is where we are going to leave it for this evening. So Shut I just on. want to say the biggest thank you to to you, Tom and Bodie. That was truly amazing, absolutely fucking epic episode. So really, really happy great to have you on on board, guys. It was, that was so much fun. fun. So fun. much fun. <laughs> absolutely. Um, a happy three years to to everyone as well guys. at Mortal Magic. Yeah, so congrats, thank guys. you so much for that. Well done, J.K. I'll be in touch around the giveaway. Um, please, please, if you've not already gone and done so, go and support both Homie and the Dude's Kickstarter for Sky Zephyrs, which looks to be amazing. Um, really looking forward to seeing that in production once it's there. And then please go and support the Eldritch Press as well. I will talk more around what the Eldritch Press have given us for giveaways next week. Um, but yes, unless there's anything else from anyone. Uh, dude, thank you guys for letting us be, like, come in like you know, just butthole your whole family up in here. <laughs> <laughs> the family that you have. Just come in here and just, the, you know, me mess with all of it. I, I appreciate you guys no. very much. This is this has been one of the sickest, uh, you know, me and Tom have had some weird-ass D&D experiences up until this point <laughs> where going on people's shows, to say the least. And this has been an incredible one, guys. So thank you for yeah. taking the time to have us on, and, and we appreciate you very much. No, really no thank it. you so much um so yes join us again next week for episode 30 which is wow bizarre 
it still feels like two minutes ago we only started campaign two um but yes we will be back with those extra giveaways from the eldritch press um thank you again for all the support over the last three years thank you again for tonight um thank you again to to tom and Bodie. thanks to dave and danny for being amazing as always we have been the molten magic crew with homie the dude this has been episode 29 of molten magic stay safe we love you all and we will see you next time <laughs>